three, two, one, go. Welcome everybody. This is going to be a very special, another modded special playthrough of Spyro the Dragon. This one is a mod made by Aldizi. This particular mod is going to be much more challenging than the last one I did, which if you haven't checked it out, it's the 200% speed. That was more of just a fun joke, just flying at a million miles per hour. This is going to be a legitimate challenge because Spyro is going to be very slow. <laughs> As you can see there, he's going to be moving at like a snail's pace. Um, what this mod does is it lowers Spyro's jump height to like almost nothing and his charge uh, speed and charge jump speed down to almost nothing. His glide is still normal and I think his walk is still normal. Uh, but everything beyond that is super nerfed. But there's a good, uh, there's good news with that. Oh God. There we go. Good glide. Oh my God. No, I can't get up that. I can't get up that. See what I'm saying? I can't get up it. You know? So, the way- Oh man, I have to charge jump this. Okay. So the way I get more jump height, the good news about it is I can regain my jump height. And the way I do that is by collecting more gems. So of course- Oh god. Oh, fuck! So the way I do that is by collecting more gems and god damn it. Oh, hold on. Let me see if I can get these. Yeah, nice, nice. Oh. Okay, be careful with this. Oh, I got to be really careful here because I do want to go into Sunny Flight for sure. There's going to be a 120% run for starters, just like my last 200% uh, run. So pray for me. I'm going to have to skip over, obviously, a lot of sections of artisans and then come back to this homeworld, maybe even peacekeepers as well. Come back to those homeworlds later. Um, but from what I understand, once I get about halfway through the gem count of this game, maybe around like 5,000, 6,000 gems, um, then my jump height will probably be close to normal again or somewhere around there and then as we get more gems then it'll get even higher it'll get, go even higher than normal and from what i understand what dz told me is that uh by the end you'll be able to uh jump from the bottom of the grass and artisans all the way up to the nester platform that, that first dragon that i touched so I'm really excited to see how buffed I get uh, as the run goes on, but this is gonna be real challenging to uh, to start out with and uh, yeah, pray for me. That's all I gotta say is prayers in the chat. And of course, once again, let's get some uh, estimates now that you've kind of seen what it is. Let's get some estimates in the comments down below in the Twitch chat and the YouTube comments. How long do you think this is gonna take? Don't click on the fucking uh, time of the video. No cheaters. Let me know in the comments how long you think this is going to take. My guess is like two hours. That's my guess. And I got to I gotta get a move on too because... Um, I got to get a move on too because I got to go to dinner with my, uh, with my family after this. I got to go meet up with my aunt at her place. And like right after this, I'm barely have enough time to take a shower and shit. So... Oh, oh no. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, okay. Yeah, notice how I can get on that platform now that I have the extra gems from that flight level. Shit, I can't even get... Okay, nice. Let's grab this dragon. Notice how I, was, I wasn't I was able to jump on the stone before and now I can? It's because we have more gems. So that's how it works. <laughs> Just look at this, dude. You can't even, like, jump charge to go faster. It's probably faster for me to just walk, honestly. At this current point. <laughs> All right, let's just keep following the route here. Let's head over to... <laughs> What's faster, walking or charging? It's hard to tell. I think... I think... Oh, God, I don't know. Gliding is probably the fastest. Because there's also a category in this game that with no mods called chargeless. And the fastest way to move if you can't charge, which is basically what's happening here, is to actually jump and glide. So in this case, I'll charge jumping. Yeah, that's going to be my fastest form of movement. Is this. <laughs> this is even worse than chargeless. I can't get up that. I can't get up that. I think I'm... I might be fucked. I might be fucked in this level. I'll do these levels as much as I can until I'm fucked, basically. Like, for example, I'm gonna have to... Yeah. I'm just gonna have to grab this dragon and exit, because I'm not gonna be able to get back up those steps. Grab the dragon, collect all the gems down here, and then exit. And then come back here later. That sucks. <laughs> That's fucking tight. That's kind of tight. Like, I don't need the key. I'll have to come back for the... Okay, whatever. You know, whatever. I'll... I have to come back down there later anyways. Just exit level. Let's just keep it moving. <laughs> Split. <laughs>
There we go. Same 53, 215. I think I think 215 is a good guess. That's a good guesstimate. I think a little over two hours. Oh. Hold up. I'm about to try this right now. I'm, I'm curious to see if I can get this jump. No, I can't even charge jump off this fucking hill. It's so annoying. So yeah, this is Spyro, but he weighs 10,000 pounds, basically. Let's go Stone Hill. Fuck it. Ah. So the fastest way to collect gems in this game is to basically follow the any percent route, which is probably would be the fastest way to do this run. I'm just I'm just kind of more just casually just completing levels um, with the 120 percent route until I can't anymore. Like, for example, right there, I can't keep going. I have to just go this way. I wonder if I'll be able to get to the upper area. If I can, that'll be clutch. But <laughs> this is so fucking slow. <laughs> this is so ass. Oh, by the way, is Penji's here? Is there any mods here that could change my title on Twitch? Thanks to anyone who can. <laughs> I'll change my title on like one of the level transitions or something. <laughs> we are getting some juicy gems here. You can you can really feel that like every time I get like some gems, like I I'm starting to charge like a little faster. Just a crumb of speed. You have to switch accounts. Yeah, if you want to save me time and do that, then feel free. But if not, it's cool. I can just change it myself. It's not a big deal. Okay, nice. I can make it to the upper level. But I don't think I'm going to be able to kill the thief. Because I, I move too slowly, I think. Yeah, there's no way. Is this faster? I don't know. Let me at least... Um, yeah, no, I'll have to kill the thief later. So I'll, I'll do like the normal route when I come back and go up the fountain and shit. Let me at least get this right now. Grab the uh, gems from the gem box. Oh, I can't get into the gem box. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I can get in the gem box. Hold on. Did I kill the um, yak at the start? Because... Here, let me think about this. Let me grab this. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a fucking huge brain strat right here. I'm going to grab this dragon. I'm going to exit the level. I'm going to re-enter it. And I'm going to... Damage abuse to get back down into the... Uh, treasure room, but it's probably not even worth it at that point. It, honestly, it's not worth it. I have to come back to this level anyways. So, oh no, he's still alive. Okay, I can do it, I think. I think I can do it. Uh, let me grab some, uh... I thought that guy was dead. No, he's alive. So we can do it. We can do it. We can take the damage abuse. Check this out. This is gonna be a huge fucking strat right here. I have to, I have to let him hit me. I'm trying to get him to hit me into the hole. Come on. Come on, buddy. Dude, what is he doing? Uh, camera? <laughs> what is he doing? Hello? Oh, that was a good attempt. That was a good attempt. One more. Dude, this guy sucks. Hello? What is, what's his problem? I can't, I can't jump high enough to get like, to get the height. Dude, this guy's such a fucking idiot. Hello? What is, what is this? Yeah, no. It's it, it was a good idea. I don't think it's going to work. It was a good idea, though. Maybe a task could do that. Title's been updated. Thank you, Steven. Appreciate it. Right, I'm just going to grab this dragon and get out of there. <laughs> I've had enough with that. Yeah, that was a good idea. You got to give me that idea. You got to give me the ingenuity there. Not bad. Yeah, what do you guys think is the best YouTube title for this? Uh, Steven put it as Spyro, but jump height, jump height and charge are nerfed. I was thinking about calling the video Spyro, but he weighs 10,000 pounds. <laughs> That's what I was thinking about calling it. He beats Spyro with amnesia. I mean, it's the, I don't, I don't know where the amnesia comes in. Yeah, if someone wants to help me make a, a thumbnail. Uh, Shoutouts to uh, Lundy's. I might hit up Lundy's again. I don't know if they're here right now. Lundy's made an amazing uh, thumbnail for my 200% uh, speed video. I might, I might. If so, but if someone is uh, is artistically inclined and wants to make a 
a thumbnail of Spyro being like squished under like, you know, one of those big cartoon, like, you know, 10 pound, 10 ton weights, you know? And then, uh, then that's, that's the, uh, that's the assignment. If I like it, then I'll pay you for it. Don't expect anything. But don't worry about it. I'll, I'll hit up Lundy's if I don't get any. Oh, dude, I can't get up there. Oh, fuck. Hello? Maybe I can get up here. Yeah, dude. I innovation. <laughs> Ingenuity. Uh, what I'll do is I'll... Here's what I'll do. I'll grab those gems here in a sec. Let me just grab this dragon. <laughs> I'll grab this dragon. I'll run, grab those gems, and then death abuse back up to the dragon. Look at that. Perfect movement. But eating gems makes you lighter. I think that's more clear. But is it more clickable than Spyro, but he weighs 10,000 pounds? I can't get up this. Oh, I needed to leave those guys. Hold on. I'm just going to exit, dude. It's fucking too much. <laughs> it's too much trouble, dude. I'm not, I'm not completing any more of that level. If I need to, I think I, I can get further in that level if I need to. Using that same, like, enemy strat. Dude, I didn't exit a Vortex either, I'm, I'm now realizing. I cannot go into Toasty, so I'm gonna have to go back to Stone Hill real quick. Spyro, but... <laughs> he's gay. Um, I gotta go to... Where's the best? No, I gotta go Stone Hill. I can't use the Dark Hollow Vortex. I can't jump high enough for that. So we gotta use the Stone Hill Vortex. What I'm doing right now is I'm jumping through an exit level Vortex. I always forget to do this on these like challenge runs. Uh, normally we enter Toasty from behind in 120% speed runs. But the way you're supposed to enter Toasty is by exiting one of these level vort vortices. Um, and then the, the Toasty head opens after you talk to the dragon. Like that. Which is confusing because the dragon in front of Toasty, he's just like complete one of the artisan's levels. He doesn't say specifically to go through the vortex, but that's what he means by that. Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking the glide. Good optimal movement. Yeah, this shit. But so now it's now the dialogue will be different with this guy. He'll be like, you did it. You found, you know, what does he fucking say? Cool, Flash, do that again. The artisan's boss has threw a portal behind me. But you be careful. Now, if you feel you are ready. Shut up. That's one of like that's one of only I think like two dragons that has different dialogue based on actions that you take like in the game. The one in uh, Na well, the one in Nasty's homeworld is uh, that's an entirely different dragon, and I guess that I don't know. That's like the, as far as I know, that's like the only dragon right there that like has different dialogue if you complete a certain task or not. There might be others. I guess the one in Nasty's homeworld to unlock loot is like that as well. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, dude, we have to, we literally have to re-enter every level in Artisans. I'm not even joking. Yeah, I can't go anywhere else. Like, that's it. Hold on, wait. Oh, it's, I didn't even realize the floor was raised here. Dude, who who knew that? The floor was raised there. I don't think I can jump on the... Can I jump on this little edge here? Okay. I don't think so. Who knew this? I don't. I don't know if I could jump on this little part here. I'll try. Well, hold on. Let me let me try just going up like on the left here. So it looks like it dips down a little bit. Oh! Give it a glide. Maybe a little flop on there. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Hmm. Little flop. -a. Fuck. Man, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to the balloonist. I've I've had enough of it. I'm going to the. Do I hope I have enough? Um. I hope I have enough uh, dragons. Ten dragons? How many do I have? Nine. Oh, I need one more. 
Fuck, I need one more. I think I have to go back to, um, to Town Square, I think. So I grabbed all the ones I could. I grabbed all of them in Stone Hill. I think I have to do a, a damage abuse to get to the next dragon in Town Square, and then I can leave. I'm one dragon short right now. I grabbed the one downstairs in Dark Hollow. I don't know if I can get to either of the other two in Dark Hollow yet. Those require some vertical movement. But, th but this one, I think this is my chance. I think I can do this. DZ tells me that this is possible. That beating this 120% is possible. Uh-oh. That was my bad. Ooh, okay, hold on. That epic movement. Okay, touch this. Okay, nice. Okay, now I have to do this. I have to, like, let him hit me up here. Yeah, look! I'm a genius! What did I tell you guys? I'm a fucking genius! Boom! Dragon acquired. Easy. That's what I was trying to do on the, on the guy in uh, Stone Hill as well. But it's easier with those bulls. I could have him, like, hit me up on the stairs too, but... For now, we will uh, just move on. Get out of Artisans, keep collecting gems and stuff. Now, normally what I would do when I get to Peacekeepers is beeline straight to Night Flight, but I'm not sure if that's even going to be possible with this mod here. We don't even have the Artisans music either. That's a... that's spooky. Yeah, this is a cool mod. I love that it's, like, barely possible to get 10 dragons here. <laughs> I love that you, like, needed to do that. Yeah, the, sometimes the music dies. I mean, this is like a modded version of the game, so... Maybe if I pause and unpause, it'll come back. Yeah, there it goes. Sometimes the pause is like, fuck with it. Even on the normal game. Let's go. Let's do it. Uh, what, oh, how's our artisan split looking here? <laughs> yeah, plus four fit. We're not that far behind. <laughs> we only have to revisit every fucking level. This plus requirements mod. Oh, dude, how do I get up this? Do I have enough gems to get up this? Oh, thank God. Thank God I collected as many gems as I could have there in that fucking artisans. Thank God. Jeez, that was scary. Yeah, this mod can be done on emulator. Aldizi has it. Uh, you guys are going to DM Aldizi. I don't know if he's made like a video about it or anything. I would just link a video to you guys that has it, but... Unfortunately, I do have to tell you to just DM Aldizi. Uh, maybe I'll put, if you're watching this on YouTube, maybe I'll put a link to uh, to the mod in uh, in the uh, description. So you can look down there. But if you're watching on Twitch right now, then you have to just DM Aldizi, basically. Does this affect supercharging? I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, wow. I can actually get up that. Oh, how does that? Yeah, my jump's getting better. My jump's getting a little better than before. It's noticeably better. Grab some of these. I can, like, actually push up these, like, slopes now. If it's, like, a sloped surface, I'm able to, like, kind of gank up it. See, I didn't even know about this stair right here. Thank God it's there. Yeah, it may not let you charge fast enough to get supercharged. I'm curious to see if, if uh, supercharging even works at this speed. Come on, I'll do the jump. What? Come on. Come on, you can do it. God damn it. Oh, nice, nice. This is a fucking challenge. Dude, do you guys think it can work? I don't know if I'm there yet. Oh, nice. No, this is too high. I can't do this one. This one's too high. There's no way with this one. There's no way. I'll try just normal hopping now. 
spin jump it. <laughs> There's no way here. I have to I have to revisit the level. I can do it. There is some extra gems like over by where the thief is. So if I do revisit this level, I'll go grab those as well. Already grabbed the cannon, guys. Whoa. Oh, come on. Now we're going to Cliff Town. So far, I have to revisit every level so far. There hasn't been a single level besides like Sunny Flight that I've actually completed. Do L2. You, you What you mean to say is L1, like the roll. That's what you mean? That can, that might work. That, it works if it's a sloped surface like like this. Like you can kind of, it's like even that is like, is like kind of borked. Do my little, my little glides. Currently, charge jumping is go does go higher than just regular jumping. We are getting more gems. Though. I mean, I am noticing that I I can jump a little higher than before, but man, not by a lot. The other difficult thing is I need to get some thieves. Uh, I should probably try to get this thief. I think it's probably possible. Not by chasing him, but by dropping down from the upper area. You know, I'll, I'll explore that a bit later. But I'm gonna have to do some serious casual strats here. Grab this life too while I'm at it. For now, let me just try to get up this. Thank god this little block is here. I don't know if I can make that. I mean, how the fuck do you get up there? Maybe I have to get one of the uh, metal guys to hit me up there. That might be what it is. Let me take a death abuse. Oh, I didn't grab the dragon. I'm going to be like all the way back to the beginning. It's fine. I'm going to try to get one of these metal guys to like hit me up there. Maybe I can get you know, get the mama to slap me up here too. That might work. Well, let me get like right up against the wall. Ugh. Ooh. I don't know about this wall, but I, I think maybe uh, one of these other walls. That's fine. There's just gems up there. I would like to at least get up up the, uh, the level. Let me grab this. The spank. Yeah, so just to reiterate how this mod works, I see there's a question in the chat. Um, the more gems I collect, the higher I jump. The less nerf my jump and charge become. Yeah, I want these guys to like hit me up the uh, hit me up the thing, which I don't even think that's how that works. I don't know. I might be. I might just be stuck here in this level, to be honest with you. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'll just cut my losses for now. I'm just going to grab these last few gems back here for now, and then go to another level. We really are, we are in a position where we have to complete every level as much as we can until we get stuck and then, and then come back to other levels. I, I have been collecting gems and stuff, but it's it, like, I'm noticing, I am noticing a slight difference in the jump height, but not like a really big one. So hopefully in, over the course of these next few levels, I get a little bit more jumping power. Grab this dragon while I'm here. Try uh, Dr. Shemp. Dr. Shemp shouldn't be too bad. I might not be able to actually beat the Dr. Shemp fight itself, but um, I should be able to uh, just get through the level somewhat. Perhaps the um, the Biscuit Blast is possible here. Oh, I'm just out of curiosity. You can get him into the corner like that and then use Use his hit to shoot you up in the air. Oh, oh, that was a good thought though. That was a good thought process. It's okay. I can I can revisit this level if I need to like try to boost up these shits. Oh, 
Oh, you see it? You guys see it? It's got, it got, I'm, th I'm thinking. I'm using my head here. Let me at least grab these gems here. I am heavy. I'm a heavy boy today. This is heavy Spyro. Dude, the charge is getting a little faster. Charge is not like... Charge is not as bad as it once was. Oh, this is going to be useful to be all the way up here. I don't think I'll be able to make that jump, though. Just jump. No, there's no way. Let me at least get the key, though. I mean, I'll, I'm not going to be able to use it, but... Not now, at least. Okay, um... I... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to go over this way, for starters. Try to kind of wall glide it. Ah, oh, fuck. I want to at least get that, that mama and then backtrack to the dragon and call it. Fuck. What's up, Smeagol? Yeah, am I doing flying levels? Yeah, the flying levels are fine. They're unchanged. Fuck you. I need to get like the right like little glide off of that wall right there. There we go. Nice. Now, hopefully I can make this jump. Yeah. Nice little blue gem. There's a few more gems back there. Better than nothing, you know? Take that. I'm gonna one more time. I just want to try getting to the to the purple gem one more time. If I can hit that purple gem, that'd be fucking sick. No, <laughs> it's not. It's not. I need a little bit more height for that. I'm just telling you right now, that is not. That is not happening. This one. I'm glad you're liking it. This is actually really. It's a fun challenge. This makes for a really fun challenge run. I like it. All right, that should be everything that I can naturally get here for now. There's a couple of gems I might be able to squeeze back and get. This will be one of the, I think this will be one of the first levels I revisit because it seems like a, there are a few things, a few juicy gems that are just barely like unreachable right now. So we'll revisit that one sooner. Oops, I'm dead. Sooner rather than later. This guy. I already killed him, I think. Yep. I already killed those guys. <sighs> Let me at least grab these reds here. Um, Let me think. So, there's no way I can do the wall glide to get up there, is there? Oh, maybe there is. <gasps> maybe it is possible. But even if I do, I mean, that would be good if I could get up there. Uh, that might be my only way to get up there. This is probably going to cost me a game over for sure, but it, it might be worth it. Oh, I have an even better idea. Hold on, check this out. Is he gonna shoot me? Can I get one of these guys to shoot me? Hey, bitch. Is he shooting? I can't fucking see. Come on. Let this guy. Get this guy to shoot me. Check this out. You guys are gonna like this. Oh, what? I didn't even barely get any height from that. Yeah, whatever. Let's do this. Let's try to get a really good wall on. Yes! Alright. Now, I still can't get, uh, annoyingly, I still can't get up to Night Flight. All right, I don't think there's any way I can get up there yet. But, and that's annoying because there's a lot of gems in Night Flight, but I can at least, um, let me at least clean up this area over here. I'll come back for those green gems. I don't want to fuck that up. Let me at least go over here, kill this bitch. A, a very crucial thief kill right there. Because how many do we have? We only have like, we only have one so far. Yeah, so the more overall gems I have, right now I'm at 1123 gems, and the more my total gem count increases, then the more jump height I get, basically. Let me at least get these. So I'm just trying to get all gems possible here. I don't think I can get up this, can I? It would be nice if I could get up this, but I don't think I can. I don't think there's any way to do that. There's no enemy or those fodders can't help me. And uh, yeah, there's no way. Oh wait, maybe there might be a way if I could get the cannon guy maybe to shoot me. 
from over here. Man, I can't. I feel like, first of all, I have to activate him. I'm just curious to see if he would shoot me. Uh oh, I'm dead. Fuck. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother with that. That's probably not going to work. Because when I tried to do it on the other cannon guy earlier, um, I wasn't able to c carry enough momentum. It's like, it's that shit is borked too. The damage, uh, damage boosts, they're called. Those are kind of borked. When they're like off of a momentum conservation. The ones with the that have set knock back, set knock back, like the um, the bulls in town square, those are good. But the ones that require you to preserve momentum from a charge, like with these uh, cannons, it's not as easy. So let me. Um, we still have to do ice cavern, so let's do that. Let me grab all these gems over here. I'm glad we were at least able to get. Oh fuck! God damn it! I'm glad we were at least able to get up to that upper area. This is fucking hard to get over there. Let me at least grab the fucking dra- <laughs> This fucking takes forever to charge all the way back. Oh my goodness. Give me a little glide. Oh yeah, juicy glide. Oh, whatever. Yeah, this just gonna, this just gonna take me a minute, dude. I'm already 30 minutes in. I might have to like part two this shit, honestly. If I, ca if I can't finish it in time, because I gotta- I gotta go to dinner with like my fucking aunt and shit. Ugh. Okay. Can I make- Oh wait, I need to touch the dragon. Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm, I'll go for gold. I can just go from this way. I don't know why I'm like trying to traverse the shit. Interestingly, you can like get a bunch of jump height with these. Like, I don't know how that, what the logic is with that. But whatever. Because that doesn't really apply to any other slope surfaces as far as I can tell. Like you don't get the, you know, whatever. Anyways, let's go to uh, the ice cavern. Now, um, I'm thinking with Ice Cavern, um, what am I thinking with Ice Cavern? I'm just gonna try to go the, just try to go normally here. Can't grab that. Can I? No, I don't think so. Yeah, it's a little too high for my current, my current jump. The three lives? Yeah, I mean, I could go there. Uh, I don't really care at the moment about that. I'll, I'll, I'll go back there later. Or if I need that to get down to that area. I, the lives aren't really that important. Like, I'll eat a game over if I have to. It's not a big deal. Oh, shit. I would have liked to get that. Uh, good thing I just grabbed a dragon right there. I'm gonna take a death abuse. Maybe I should grab the three lives. Fuck it. I'll go back. Since I'm here, I'll go back for him. I, oh, never mind. No, I can't. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. It's everything's fine. Shut up. <laughs> Maybe I can just empty hop it. Ah, oh, give me that. Huh. I don't want to death abuse it again. I'll, I'll come back for that later. Keep it moving. That's definitely gettable though, for sure. That yellow. I could have tested to see if I can make it up there. Yeah, at this point, if I want to go back for the yellow, I'll have to... Here, I'll death abuse one more time for that yellow, just because, like, I'm pissed about it. I, I got a death death wish with that bitch. Can I at least... Eh, whatever, that's fine. Death abuse for the yellow. For the yellow. For the fans. I'll go for the charge jump this time. <sighs> no, you fucker! Come on! How many lives do I... Okay, one... Last try! Last try! I, I want it so bad. I want it so bad. If I hit this, you got a sub. Should I go for the full? I feel like I should go for the full hop charge glide. Yeah, I feel like that's going to be the move. <sighs> Here we go. Yes! Yes! <laughs> You're the best around. <laughs> oh my god. That was sick. There's no way I can make that. Yeah. All right, now let's grab this dragon. Plus 10 gems, dude. Legend. That was hard. That was a hard jump. Dude, how do you get up this? Oh, am I stuck already? Aw. Oh, what the fuck? I, I guess I do have to go to the lower area. I'm not gonna worry about 
that. I'm gonna see if I can glide all the way down here first. Hit, hit a wall glide. Oh, that is possible. I think I just game over though. So what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll re-enter Ice Cavern and go the three life route this time. And then collect all the rest of those gems and a dragon or two and then... Uh, hopefully we'll have enough gems at that point to go to it. Yeah, we do have enough gems to go to Magic Crafters at this point. But I will just collect that, that extra stuff because I do need it. Matter of fact, I think I'll just go to Magic Crafters now. That's that's what I'm thinking. I'll just go to Magic Crafters now. I'm going to have to backtrack to Ice Cavern anyways. But yeah, just I'm making mental notes of levels um, to backtrack to. Like which ones I want to backtrack to first. And definitely Ice Cavern and uh, Dr. Shemp. Are definitely levels I want to backtrack to sometime, sometime relatively soon. Do I have all these? Give me all of these. Grab this life because I'm probably going to need it. So yeah. Just go to Magic Crafters. Let's go. Now, luckily here, we should be able to access the uh, the flight level. You know, I might have to do some, depending on how the supercharging works. Because there is the first supercharge pad in the home world here. So we'll see how that works with this mod. I'm hoping it works. If it doesn't work, I should still be able to to get over that area. I might need to like really grind this guy out because he's going to get away. Hmm. I'll, I'll revisit that guy another time. I need that guy, by the way. Um, I only have one egg so far the one in peacekeepers and um there is definitely a couple more there's definitely some i can get in magic crafters here i think that guy is one i can get um there's gonna be one in high caves and one in wizard peak those are free as well and that still leaves me at four so i'm gonna have to grab one more egg thief beyond that oh there's the one in alpine i'm not sure if i'll be able to get that one the one in alpine and that first one in the home world here are gonna be uh are gonna be challenging so Let's grab some, uh, let's at least grab some gems in the meantime, just try to buff ourselves up a little bit. In fact, before I even go to Alpine, I'm gonna try to supercharge over to the flight level. Because as you know, oh, I forgot about this guy also. This guy will be easy. I hope. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so actually we're good. I always forget. You always forget that there's more, there's more egg thieves in this game than you remember. Even, even for me. Okay. So, I'm gonna grab this dragon. Before I go into any of these levels here, I'm gonna start with the flight level. Oh, nice. It looks like, yeah, so... So, I think the supercharge ramp's gonna work, because it looks like my charge speeds up on the supercharge ramp. As, as some of you guys may not know this, but the, the charge properties are changed when you're above the... Yeah. Even though it is slower than normal... Oh, shit. Uh, okay, don't grab that dragon. I should have continued through the uh, strong box. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to, you guys are going to love this strategy, check this out, hold on. Since I'm already like over here and kind of fucked up and need to come back, what I'm going to do is collect all these gems. By the way, this is one of two uh, purple spring chests in the game. Every, everyone uh, everyone shows love for the one red spring chest, but no one shows love for the two purples. I'm going to see if I can make it over to this, actually, and grab the key. I may not need to do this, but I have to death abuse anyway, so I might as well try. Ooh, I'll take it. Not bad. All right, that's fine. So um, at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for the key chest. Check this out. I am going a little slow. I should be actually just be able to supercharge onto it. I didn't need that key yet. I don't need the key. Grab me this. And uh, now we're gonna head over to Wild Flight or whatever, Crystal Flight. We're gonna head over that way. Uh, first, I'm gonna grab this strong box though, just for just for all the extra gems I can muster. So I want to grab all as many gems as I can here in this home world. Like I know this may seem like totally out of order and stupid, but I'm just really just trying to get all the gems I can here f f before I go into some of these levels. Take a death abuse. I have the lives to do this. I'm gonna go for that strong box and death abuse again, and then we'll go to wild flight. In fact, I'm gonna do the old supercharged strat here. Oh, I did grab the strong box. I'm tripping. And it looks like you can uh, jump uh, with supercharge as well to the fullest capability. So that's good. So we're going to head over to um, Crystal Fly. I'm going to try to do Boldar Skip for funsies. I think I got it. I'm not sure. 
You guys think I, I touched that dragon? Let me know. What's up, Will? It's going good, man. It's going good. Doing a really hard uh, Spyro challenge here. If uh, you want details about that, go ahead and type exclamation point sub goal in the chat. But essentially, I am having to collect treasure in order to increase my jump height and charge speed. Right now, those two um, mechanics are heavily nerfed and I cannot access certain areas until I collect more gems. So luckily we're in a flight level right now. I'm pretty sure this one gives me 400 gems. It's very, very good gems here. We also collected a juicy amount in the uh, home world as well, but it really doesn't feel like my jump height and charge are getting that much better. They're getting a little better, but not that much. I think it's one of those things that scales kind of like um, exponentially, like even though the value probably is increasing, it doesn't really like appear like it is until it like reaches a certain threshold, then it'll really seem like it. It's probably like it. Cause it's like, it's like momentum based, you know, it's like, I'm pretty sure DZ like turned down like the momentum property, like, or whatever the memory value is. And so like momentum is one of those things that's like exponentially scaling. All right. Um, now I should probably, since I touched that dragon there and I'm not able to get back up these, or maybe I am able to get up these stairs. My jump is getting a little better, you can see. I have basically like short hop height now. I cannot get up those stairs though. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I could game over back, back to the earlier part of the uh, Magic Crafters, but what I'm gonna do since I'm here is I'm just gonna go to Wizard Peak and just do as much of this level as I can. What's up, Jeremy? Thanks for the good luck. And hey, Lundies. Yo, Lundies. Uh, I got another emo, uh, another uh, thumbnail commission for you. Are you are you available for this one? This one is Spyro, but he weighs ten thousand pounds, and it's a picture of Spyro, but he's being squished under like a cartoon like ten ton like weight. You know what I mean? Like the fucking hexagon, like with like the, the fucking handle on top. So yeah, that's the uh, commission. If you if you want to do it. Yeah, like Toontown, exactly. Um, so I'm thinking, can I make this jump? Oh, fuck. I think maybe with the short, I think at this point, you're on it, okay, nice. Yeah, put it behind some crazy background as well. You could do like the outer space one, or you could do, uh, or you could take one of the skyboxes from this game. There's plenty of PNGs of uh, Spyro skyboxes as well. Whatever you think looks good. Oh, hold on. I'm getting a call from my aunt. I'm going to dinner with her later, so I'll be right back. One minute. Yeah, I'll, I'll text you when I'm leaving, but yeah, it'll be around like 6.30ish or something. Alright, love you, Kathy. Hey, bye, say bye to my stream. Say, my, uh, say hi to my live stream. Everyone says they love you. They love my Aunt Kathy. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Uh, say, that, say that one more time. You're on speaker. I love everybody. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Alright, I'll talk to you later, Kathy. Bye. Merry Christmas! <laughs> that was fucking cute. <laughs> Alright, let's roll. Dude, she's gonna give me some pears. Did you guys hear that? Yeah, so just full this Oh, nice! Okay, yeah, my fucking full hop is, like now is better than my charge, my charge jump glide. I was doing this before, like charge jump, then glide. Now I can full hop glide. It's like better distance and height. 
We're getting somewhere, guys. We're getting so you can see the charge speed kind of increasing a little bit as well. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, oh, whatever. I'll just go this way. No. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Bring it back. Bring it back. But yeah, I might have to, um, because like in about an hour, I'm going to have to end stream. So um, I'm going to get to the point where like, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get like halfway through this run. I think I'll get to like, uh, I'll play for another like 40 minutes or so. Once we're back to like normal, like, you know, um, mechanics, then I'll start part two tomorrow, I think, of this. I can save and just start where I started from, so it's no biggie. Take a fucking death abuse real quick. I'll just go back around. Here's what I'm thinking is I'm gonna do I'm gonna go over Oh fuck! I gotta I gotta really calculate these jumps. I can't just fucking YOLO them, alright? And zero lives, goddamn. Here, I'm gonna try this. Check this out. You guys are gonna you guys are gonna shit when you see this. Check this out. I love this. Classic. Oh, come on, you fucker. Get me in there. Oh. Come on. Oh. You have to like grunt like an old man. That's part of the part of the magic. Nice. Give me those. Beautiful. I am zero lives, right? So I gotta be careful here. Can't just death abuse my way back. Barely. Okay. Oh man, how do I get up this? Oh wait, hold on. Maybe I... I have to go like around, around. Like the other, like the way I was before. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna go around. Hopefully not die here. If I get all the way around, like without dying here, I'm fucking hyped. Walk on top of this. Okay. <laughs> you can see I can just like barely make these jumps, dude. I got some spit on my TV. Like a true gamer. No! Oh, the I have to exit, re-enter level. Exit, re-enter level. Otherwise, it's going to start me at the uh, beginning of Magic Crafters. Let's calculate. Calculated level exit there. I'll try that one more time. If I, if I don't get it this time, I'll just move on to a different level. But I would like to actually do that. I know I can make that jump, so. Yeah, I know. It feels heavy watching this, I'm sure. If you're a heavy squisher in the chat. You know, post an emote. Okay. That first jump is easy. This one is the is the true challenge. Nice! I love it! So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna go up to this upper area here. I'm not gonna go up to the right there. I could maybe make that jump, but instead of doing that, I'm gonna do this. Check this out. And yes, that, is, that glide I just did is what I think the developers intended for you to get up here. There is no other reasonable like way to get up, to get over there. Without like doing like the fucking wizard proxy or like supercharged turnaround craziness. Okay, I'm not gonna go up there. There is some gems up there that I could try to grab, but grab this. And now we uh now we continue through the level a little bit. Let me grab at least this life that's over here. Get myself back out of game over zone. Mm, we should get some juicy gems here actually. Some nice yellows and whatnot. I can make this jump, I believe. Yeah, beauty. I can grab those gems through the thing. Wally strats. Oh, I can finally do this strat again, where you like jump and flame at the same time. Nice. Make sure, I got all the blues there, and we got our next, uh, our next egg thief. That's very nice. I probably didn't have to death abuse there, but I did. Just gotta make sure I don't die again. Okay, there's, you can probably make that jump, but I'm not gonna risk it right now. Uh, also, I'm gonna fucking, what am I gonna do? Let me, uh, hmm. Let me, uh, before I grab this dragon, I'm going to try to jump up to that other area, up over there. I 
There is actually a vortex strat you can do here. Let me let me see if I can do this. Yeah, let, let me work on that. Just so I can at least get the other thief and then be done with... Because how many eggs do I have? I have three eggs. I need, I need eggs. So let me at least get up to that, to that upper area and then we'll... We'll grab a few more gems and then get out of here. Every time you get a hundred gems is when the jumps increase. Yeah, that would make sense. Egg, yeah, I gotta get, gotta get a fucking strawberry up in here. Strawberry. If I'd have left uh, one of those enemies alive, I could have uh, used a damage abuse on, on them, but I did not. I have to do this swaggier strat instead. I'll grind this out for a moment. I can't death abuse either. I, I got zero alive, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I would have loved to get to the upper area. That is that is possible. If I just hold the supercharge and do like a little uh, flop, like little conservation thingy. And there is some juicy gems up there as well, so I might I might try that. I might. But for now, let me uh, just kind of go back down this way. Well, make sure there's no gems. Right. Go back down this way. Grab this guy. I might as well grab this dragon because I'm I can't I can't I'm, if I die it's game over anyways. Might as well just grab him. Can I kill this guy already. Just run back up. <laughs> Okay, now head over this way, grab all these gems. Love it. Oh, whatever. No the most, the most un unappreciated uh, fodder in this whole game. The, the loneliest fodder. We don't even kill him. We don't pay any attention to him in any speed run. He's all by himself. He's on an island, separated from everybody. The loneliest fodder in Spyro. Shoutouts to him. Okay, do I think I can make this jump? I feel like I can. Yeah. What about this one? This one's gonna be a tough one. Nope, I'm dead. Okay, so I'm just gonna exit level at this point. Head over to Blowhard. And then once I'm done with Blowhard, I'll uh, take a game over. Blah. See you later, Dragonbird. Great to see you. Enjoy the Christmas shopping. Let's do blowhard. So there is more. I'm making mental notes of places I can still grab gems in, even despite having like nerfed whatever. Um, and I can grab more gems at the end of Wizard Peak with some crazy strats. Um, I can grab more gems in Ice Cavern if I fly down from the start. You know, who knows? I might need to do that. Oh god, please survive. Okay, nice. We got that. There's gonna be some tough, uh, tough jumps here. Nice. I think that can work. Hold on. Spin jump it. Yeah. I should have tried to do, uh, do the fucking. Oh, whatever, it's fine. At least get these. A lot of juicy gems here. Okay, uh, go up on this. Nice. Go down. Hello. Hit him. Fucking classic blowhard moment there. Nice. Still caught the cycle like a fucking true speedrunner. Not that one, though. Oh my god, I'm alive. Okay, be careful here. Okay, can I make this? This is gonna be a tough one. Yes! Okay, my jump height is getting better. It is getting better. I can clear some of these previously unclearable, uh... Little, uh, little spots. That's good. Uh, it's here. I'll, I'll, it's right here. Exclamation point sub goal. I'll, I'll add that to the title as well, so you guys know. But he weighed ten tons. Right. 
continue. I'll just wait it. <laughs> just play, it play a casual style here. But yeah, once again, just uh, to those who are just getting here, you know, you can see the little command right there. But basically what I'm doing is uh, playing a mod of Spyro that nerfs the jump height and the charge speed, as well as jump charging and charge jumping. So jumping and charging is fucking nerfed as hell, basically. And um, the more gems I collect, then the better it gets. Like the fact that I can make that jump, like it's all because I have a total of, at, of like getting towards 3,000 gems. I think once I get towards four or 5,000, it'll start to feel more like normal Spyro again. So that's the goal for today. I'm gonna do this as a two-parter, I think, because um, I am gonna be going to dinner with my, uh, with my aunt later tonight. She even said hi to the stream earlier. But let me at least uh, get this jump here. Nice. I'm loving these little like spin jumps here. This is gonna be some good gems here, if I can get this guy. Nice. Look at this. Amazing. Look at all those gems. Just that alone, like, gave me a little speed boost. Dude, this part of the song is banging. I never get to hear this part of the song. Yeah, we even got that. Did I get every gem here? This is the first level I completed! Yo! This is the first level I actually com- I didn't think I was gonna get everything. First completed level. Yata, dude. Don't gotta go back to Blowhard, that's nice. Every other level I have to go back to, by the way. <laughs> I've went to every level, I'm just gonna take the game over to go back to the uh, start. Pretty good. Go back to the start of Magic Crowd. Now I'm gonna head into uh, Alpine and then do High Caves. And, uh, yeah. Maybe I can get this guy now. Also, hold on, let me try doing it like this. Nice, good. How many is that? That's five eggs. Okay, sweet. I can actually go to Beast Makers now. That was the requirement to go to Beast Makers. Very nice. Let's at least do uh, let's do some Alpine. Or maybe I should go to, let me actually probably just go to, because I'm probably gonna have to, let me think about this. I probably am gonna have to backtrack, I'm gonna have to go back to Alpine. Um, you know, cause just the stairs there. I'm just thinking about like how big the, the jumps are I have to make there, which are pretty big actually. Um, high caves, will I do, I'm trying to see if, if I can 100% these levels, I'll do them now, but I might as well just, cause I might have to come back anyways. I might as well go to beast makers right now. High caves, I might be able to do now. Well, there's a couple of, well. I'm gonna try to do high caves right now. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can do it. Can't you just roll up the stairs? What are you talking about in in uh, Alpine? Yeah, that first staircase, yeah. But there's like more stairs in the level. Uh, Alpine might be possible too. I'm not saying it's it's totally impossible. It just doesn't seem as likely as this level. I could try it. I mean, I'm just saying. What's up, Psycho? Welcome, welcome. It's a really mod idea. It really is a mod idea. I love this mod idea as well. It's pretty good. I'm gonna wait this. Now I'm probably not gonna be able to get over that, but I can potentially get over it with supercharge. The reason why I'm opting for this level instead of Alpine is for things that I can't get over, like that, or maybe I can get over this. I guess I can, dude. My jump height is getting better and better. I may not be, uh, I may be able to start 100%ing pretty much most levels at this point. Because really what was stopping me is steps like these that are like just above Spyro's height. But now I can get those, so that's good. Can I make this jump? Yeah, I'm gonna grab this dragon for safety. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this mod, feel free to uh, drop a gift sub. We're at 886 subs right now. I'd love to get even remotely closer to 900. Uh, thanks for watching. On that note, I'm actually going to run a few ads since I'm thinking about it. Let's see if I can make this. Ooh, I missed the, uh, I think I can make that. I just missed the charge.
Yeah, I think I can 100% this level. I think. We'll see. I may have to, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually do this. Cause I wanna supercharge into the room so that I can kill the thief. Nice. Then I don't have to chase him down. It's smart, right? I'm smart. Dude, I keep missing my fucking charges out of the air. Yeah, like literally my charge button is dying. It's kind of sad. This might start affecting my actual runs. I need a new controller. Alright, I might need to just like crack this one open and clean it again. Just gonna do this. Yo, Grapes, thank you for the gift. Appreciate that. Love you, man. Hope you're having a great day. A grape day. Okay, maybe I'll kill one of these guys. Probably not both of them. Maybe I will kill both. Oh, nice! Bruh. Barely getting him. Fucking legend. God tier. comfortable here dude i keep missing the charge like literally i'm blaming the controller for this like that's like un if that happens in normal runs that's unacceptable here it's not a big deal but... so i might have to crack this op controller open and clean it before it runs tomorrow we'll see oh, did i get the red there this <laughs> nice <laughs> hitting all the strats legend beauty 480 wait hold on what am i missing am i stoned what did i miss Champ. Oh, it's these. All right, nice. Level number two completed. We're starting to get to a point where we can complete levels now. Thank God. Now, should I just try to complete Alpine? Nah. Let's go to uh, let's go to Beast Makers. Let's uh, cause it. I think it makes more sense to just get as many gems as possible. Let's head over to Beast Makers. So I have to backtrack here anyways. I could like try to 100% every level here in Magic Crafters. But I think it'll just be easier for me if I go to Beast Makers now. Backtrack to Artisans, Peacekeepers, and Magic Crafters. And then by the time I'm done doing all of that, I should be like, like, well, like beyond like normal uh, capabilities. We're crossing the bug ball horizon. Yeah, we're getting ever closer. Uh, we're at 3,122 gems right now. You can see my charge speed is getting a little better. My charge jump is still super borked. My normal jump is starting to look like almost normal though. It's still a little smaller than normal. I think once we get to like 4,000, the jump will look normal again. <laughs> Why does this nerf run look like your speed runs? I have no comment. Uh, let me, before I do terrace or any of this, let me go to the flight level. Because gems are king here.
By the way, if you're wondering why the game is like lagging like this, it's because I'm running it through a USB stick on a PS2, on like a hacked memory card. So I am playing on PS2, but like basically like homebrew PS2. Thank you, Kay. Yeah, I have a fat PS2 here. I could try like modding that one for the hard drive and, that, and then the lag won't be as much of an issue. That'll be something, that'll be something when, uh, when I feel like it. All right, so let's get ourselves a, what is it? Like 500, four or 500 gems here? This should be a juicy, uh, juicy upgrade. But we're still not at, um, I don't even think we're even remotely close to 50 dragons yet. Or wait, what is it to get through, uh, Beastmakers? Yeah, 50 dragons, right? So... I don't know if we're there yet. In fact, let me check. Does it let me check right now? Uh, we're at 29. <laughs> yeah, so we definitely have to backtrack before we can move on from Beastmakers. Which is fine. Like probably by the end of Beastmakers, I'll be like in the 30s or low 40s, maybe. Oops. Yeah, this cycle is all wonky. Playing the memory card. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Get the plane. I think they give you plenty of time. All right, so what is that 400 gems 300 fuck I was hoping it'd be like 500 whatever better than nothing We'll definitely take that Still worth doing still worth going out of my way to hit the flight level first Okay, now let's head back to uh, Terrace Let's see if we can like hundred percent some of these levels because I'm feeling like it's it's gonna be doable now even already, it feels like I have like a normal jump height again. So let's do Terrace. Let's try to 100% some of these levels. I'll probably go for the next like half hour or so. We'll try to 100% Beast Makers. And then um, if we have time, I'll do a little bit of backtracking and then... Uh, but I might save the backtracking for part two. For the extra boner part. But yeah, we're starting to get to the point where things are beginning to look normal. The charge is looking still super borked. Actually, I'm surprised the jump looks like normal, but the, the charge is still super nerfed. I'm not sure if it's going to be like that through the whole thing. We'll see. Yeah, because I think the charge is still as fast as it was uh, at the start. So, I think it, perhaps it's just to the jump height that's getting... Uh, that's getting uh, increased here when I collect gems, not the charge speed. But maybe, maybe it maybe it is charge speed. I don't know. Either way, it's fine. As long as we have that jump height, then we can beat the game. I don't need to have like a fast charge per se to beat the game, 120%. But I do need jump height. You missed most of it, dude. The good news is it will be on uh, YouTube. And if you're watching on YouTube right now, in the future, I love you. Type a letter, uh, type a letter R in the chat. Because you're, you're a pirate. Letter R in the chat. In the, I'm pardon me, in the YouTube comments. Or in the chat too, fuck it, type in the chat too. R. I always heart every comment that has uh, one of those like mid-roll like letter call-outs on the YouTube comments. If you actually catch those and comment them, you get a heart from me. The true homie move. Fuck. I can do this. Oh my good. Bruh.
<laughs> How do you get a heart from me? You already have my heart, Strawberry. You have more of my heart than any YouTube comment could ever dream for. God, the lag, dude. My god, this fucking USB nonsense. Like, really, like, every fucking, like, five seconds it's, like, lagging. Are you serious? Come on now. Come on now. Is this a valuable workout? Yeah, it's a fun challenge. Absolutely. I'm not getting a good physical workout, I'll tell you that much, but... It's a fun challenge in this game. Like, I loved that the first couple of home, wor home worlds were, like, barely possible. Like, you really had to, like, kind of think outside the box to, to make it work. But at this point, I think the game is going to be mostly just do it. Like, every level I go into, I can 100% now. Even if it's a little challenging. Oh, that's fine. That's a tough jump to make normally. I mean, not tough, but, like... A high jump, even normally. Yeah, see how it's like letting go of my charge. So weird. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't know that. I thought that was a wall right there. I like wasn't looking. <laughs> it's like when I press square like a certain way, it doesn't work. I'm trying to see which way I press it so that it doesn't work. Oh, that's weird. It's just so weird, my square button. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, sometimes it trolls me. Fucking lag is insane. Get me out of here, dude. Alright, level complete. Wait, what the fuck? None of these splits make any sense. Terrace, boom. I have to backtrack anyway, so it's not like it matters really. The splits. Alright, let's go to Bog. Like I said, let's 100% Beast Makers. And then we can, uh, we can call it for the day. I think. I think that's a good, uh, good goal. Will catching up to Nasty be an issue? It might. I mean, by the time I get to Nasty... Well, we'll see. Because what it seems like is, um... Is it seems like my charge speed is still gonna stay nerfed. Or maybe it won't. I don't know. It's, I don't know. I, I don't think catching, even with my current, like, stats, I don't think catching Nasty will be impossible. It is possible to do, um, try, even if I can't, like, reach him in time, I can, like, gank him so that I'll stay at the platform and then have him run around. I can do that. So I don't think it's going to be an issue, personally. In typical, you know, challenge run form, I think the hardest part of it will be, like, getting through the lava room. But in this particular case, that should not be impossible. It's not going to be like a TV remote run. Is there another frog? I just want to point out, I'm still killing those frogs without getting hit, even with a slowed down charge speed. I just want to point that out, just to all the casual people that get fucked by the frogs. Like, if you learn how to flame charge, those frogs do not, like, fuck with you. It's not even a problem. Those frogs, when you learn how to flame charge in this game, those frogs go from, like, one of the most annoying enemies to, like, trivial, basically. Even with, like, a slowed down fucking charge speed. I remember when the guy role-playing Gulp came into the chat. Yeah, that was tight. Gulp and Nasty were, like, chatting and shit. Like, how's Avalar? <laughs> you know? How's a how's how's my boy Ripto doing? 
Always oh, good. How are the minions? <laughs> But it's funny. They watch it be like the same person on two different alts. I don't think it is though, because it's mostly just nasty that hangs out here. Oh, it might be. It's not. I don't know. I'm gonna grab some more water. One sec. here D hello dude oh my God. fucking game gonna get all laggy for like no fucking reason. It's like when it wants to it's just gonna start lagging like crazy. It's like why? Like it'll be fine for a while and then it'll just be like alright I'm gonna start lagging every like five seconds now. And USB piece of shit. Oops. I'll just take the death. Yeah, we're basically back to Spyro's normal jump height, but I will say the charge is still nerfed. Um, yeah. It seems like, is it like, is it getting better, do you guys think? The charge, I can't tell if the charge is getting better or not. I know for sure the jump is like way better now, but... It's hard to tell with the charge. That's my bad. Look at this amazing lag here. Just what just a great playing experience. Yeah, it's hard to tell whether it's getting better or not. Yeah, it might be. Alright, that's Misty Bog done. Misty bog complete. Hit that split. Mm. Do 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 do. Oh man, dude, I cannot wait to go have some fucking margaritas tonight on some fucking Mexican food. I'm gonna have like two margaritas. I'm not driving, so I mean, I'm gonna drive to my aunt's place, but she's gonna drive to the Mexican place. Drive everyone, so it's gonna be fucking lit. Oh fuck, classic. That's a classic right there. Yeah, I'm playing on V V2 right now, DZ. By the way, shouts to DZ. Uh, to anyone who wants to get their hands on this. DZ, what's the best way for people to get their hands on this? Is there like a like a download link somewhere? I'll, I'm a, whatever link there is to download this, I'm going to put in my uh, YouTube description. Uh, you can't post any links in the chat though, but... You can like DM it to me or whatever. I think you you probably already did DM it to me right when I originally asked for it. Though I am sure there's probably updated versions now, as you kind of implied there with that message. Uh, this is version 2, although this is something I know you've been working on a bit, so... Oh my god, I'm not gonna make it! Oh, okay. But yeah, at this point, I am currently at, um... 
How many gems? We're at four. We're almost at 5k, so things are looking almost normal again. At least with my jump height, they're looking normal. And that was pretty much the goal of today, is to get from, like, you know, square one to, like, normal Spyro, quote-unquote. So, um... Yeah, we still have to backtrack pretty much all the way through uh, Artisans, Peacekeepers, and some of Magic Crafters. Go this way. Is this gonna work? I don't... Maybe that will work. Hold on. I, I didn't trust it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust it this time. Touch this. That's gonna work. Yeah. Yeah, someone get all easy a sub for making this shit. It's on GitHub. Yeah, nice. Yo, Goopy, thank you for the gift. Yeah, I'll give, uh, maybe I can give DZ VIP, and then he can, uh, post the link if he's still here. I think that's how that works. Yeah, try it again. I'm not gonna make that. I keep thinking I can do like normal 120% strats. I can't. I got margs on the mind, dude. I wanna have a fucking burrito and some margaritas. It's cool. Once we get through this, uh. Yo, DZ, thank you for the gift, man. You legend. But yeah, once I get through this Beast Makers, like I said, then I'm gonna. I'll, uh, I'll put a hold to this playthrough till tomorrow. So I got, I got a date. I got a hot date tonight. No, not a hot date, but I am going to be getting some Mexican food with the fam. And I'm going to maybe, I may or may not turn up like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It better be all the gems. There, there we go. Rolling. Keeping it moving. Keeping it moving. Yeah, we're at 889 subs. Is there one more generous gifter in this chat that can get me up to 890? Let me grab this. If you're enjoying the stream, uh, feel free to show some love. Oh my goodness, can I make this? Yeah, nice. Goopy, the legend. Up to 890 chuggers for all the fucking cute homies enjoying the challenge playthrough. Run a couple ads here. That lets me. Got off easy this time, plebs. I wonder if I can get the out of bounds here. Oop. I might have been able to. Hold up. No. Trash. Yeah, I think the charge is getting better. Yeah, DZ said that the charge does get better. Yeah, I can. I can feel it getting better. The charge jump is still like. I would say like the, the the most nerf thing right now is like the charge jump. Yeah, it's it's such a funny feeling like you know it's like charging out of the air or something like that. And it just you just slow down. <laughs> it's like whoa, tank Spyro. Uh oh. Well, let me grab this uh, life back here. I think I might need it. Chat box says 895, is that true? It says 890 on my OBS, you're probably right. I think whatever the chat box says is more accurate. That's probably what it says on my dashboard over there too. OBS is kind of slower than the other thing. You did more tweaking? What's, uh, what's gonna be different um, to those who download like the newest version compared to this? 
Like, once you're done, like, you know, with your next version, what's gonna be different? Yeah, I mean, apparently we're only five away from 900, according to the, uh... What does it say in the chat here? Hold on. What does it say there? It says 800... Oh, no, that's like the raw sub count. Yeah, no, that's not the real... That's not the sub count. Goopy! <laughs> Thank you for the gifts. Appreciate that. I appreciate that. I don't know if that is actually 900 or not. I think I'm being gaslighted into thinking it is when it's not. What does it say here? 895. No, it's definitely 895 after that for sure. But thank you, Goopy. I appreciate that. You're getting me ever close. I'm happy to just be close to 900 again. That means a lot to me. Goopy, you're not allowed to gift another five. I will not allow it. <laughs> Gotta be someone else. If anyone else wants to give me back another five, then I'll take a selfie and send it to you on Snapchat. By the way, if you guys don't have me added on Snapchat, I hate to be such a shill during the metalhead fight, but here's the link right here. I'll, t I'll take a few. Uh, I'll, t I'll take a few stories tonight at the Mexican spot. You think I won't? I will. For the subs, I'll do it, dude. I got a fucking. Uh, I got the, like the little Snapchat memories thing from like, what is it, like six years ago? And I posted it on my story yesterday. It was me, um, I was in a bathroom and there was like a waste basket that was like touch generated. Yo, Sith Thunder, thank you for the sub. 896, only four more to go. There was like this waste basket and it was like touch screen, it was a touch screen waste basket. And I was like, I made the most stoned, I think I was drunk during this fucking shit. And I was like, yo, guys, check this out. <laughs> and I was trying to get it to work and I couldn't get it to work, I was like, fuck. <laughs> And I was like, oh shit, there we go, man. That shit's auto automated. <laughs> that's, uh, that wastebasket's tight. <laughs> oh fuck, we're in the future. I also got, found the photo of, um, Snapchat found the photo of, uh, me, Saboom, and Elijah in a convertible car together. That shit's a, that shit's a legendary one. You added me? Yeah, I'll, if you add me on Snapchat, I'll send you a, uh, to anyone who adds me, when I when I add you back, I'll I'll send you a. To everyone, I'll send you a fucking snap with whatever the name is on there. And you're probably gonna have to correct me and be like, oh, it's a you know actually it's, you know it's me blah 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 from the Twitch chat because it just shows your name you know, whatever your actual name is that's what it shows on Snapchat so I have to like change it. Be like, what's up, Joey Bonds? Joey Balls? Be like, no, Deo, it's fucking, it's Gulp. <laughs> <laughs> All right, metalhead done. Joey Ballsack. Thanks for adding me, dude. You know how many fucking snaps I've sent to fucking bots? You know that just add you like fucking fake females. They're like, yo, what's up, big booty lady? Thanks for adding me, and then they're like, no response, and then I get the fucking automated like fucking spam message after. It's like, fuck, you weren't real. Which one of you gifted me a sub? Get called out. What's up, Marathon? Good to see you. Thank you for the good luck. That should be a completed Beast Makers right there, I'm thinking. I've uh, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the Balloonist back to Artisans, and we're gonna save on the Nestor platform and continue this playthrough tomorrow. It is uh, getting uh, to be my bedtime right now. No, just kidding. I would finish this playthrough right now, but as I mentioned uh, throughout this run, I'm gonna be getting some Mexican food. I'm gonna be getting two big ass fucking frozen margaritas in the big schooner glasses and a bunch of fucking like you know I don't even know like enchiladas or fucking you know burritos and shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be going ham, dude. And I won't be drinking and driving. I'm driving over to the aunt's place and then she'll be the she'll be the driver. I might even just crash at her place tonight. So uh, who knows? Who knows? But in any case, uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, pause champ here, save game. And yeah, this has been a pretty fun playthrough so far. We're gonna start, I'm gonna start at like one and a half hours. I'll start at one hour 30 next time. Someone remember that by the way, in the Twitch chat for tomorrow. I gotta start my timer at one hour 30. Uh, but yeah, again, okay, that's it for part one. I will catch you guys in the next one. And if you're watching on YouTube, here comes part number two right now. Cut. Welcome to part two.
Welcome, guys. Uh, this is part two of the playthrough. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, this should have just started right now after part one. Uh, if you've made it this far in the video, fucking type a letter Q in the chat or in the comments. And uh, yeah, we just basically loaded our save file here and we're gonna start now. Let's get it. Um, so what I did up to this point was I essentially um, played the game all the way up through Beast Makers. I 100% I in Beast Makers, but I have to go through all the artisans, peacekeepers, and magic crafters levels in order to actually 100% them. You see, I've only partially completed these levels because uh, I'm doing a challenge that um, nerfs Spyro's jump uh, and charge height. But now, as you can see, I can jump. I couldn't jump above this ledge earlier. Think about that. That's how nerfed my jump was. I couldn't do this when I last time I entered this level. So now we're at around like 5,000 something. Yeah, 5,600 gems in this game uh, on this file. And the jump height is only going to increase as we collect more gems. So hopefully, I'm gonna go down here and you can see the charge speed is still a little nerfed. It, it, it will catch back up, but uh, yeah. Yeah, Q's in the chat. Already, I think the jump height is a little high. It kind of feels a little weird because the jump height is higher than normal, but the charge speed is slower than normal. So it's like, whoa. They don't exactly scale at the same like rate. Jeez, after like taking a short break, I'm really noticing that uh, my thumb is kind of worn out today. I trimmed my uh, my thumbnail, which is kind of a big deal when you are speedrunning this game because uh, the feeling of like your thumbnail, especially when it's like short. Oh my god! Like, oh, it's you. I, I shouldn't have cut it this short because I can really feel the callus, like, like I don't know, like hang, like it's hard to describe, but you can like kind of see, like uh, I don't know, just that skin above your uh, on the tip of your thumb. It's like I can feel it a little bit extra because my nail is cut. So it's perhaps it's good that I'm not grinding this game too much more today. Though I did do two uh, back to back no resets. Um, neither one of them were particularly notable. I would I would love to uh, post one run, maybe not from today, but hopefully get a good run tomorrow and uh, post that on YouTube. That would be nice. I, I really haven't gotten a good run in a while. Tomorrow's gonna be my last day to really grind it out. You hearing that? Oh, it's the frog. This happens sometimes. This happened on my Japanese run. It's one of the dragon dialogues. The frog jumping noise. This is like a random ass glitch that only happens on like these hacked versions of the game. Isn't that sick? It's starting the like one of the dragons. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> when they make the noise, they're like, bubble, bubble. Beep, bubble, bubble. dude. Is this not insane? Does this, this is like the most, oh, that, you know what this reminds me? Guys, chuggers in the chat, dude. Where are my fucking chuggers at? I wasn't able to chug last time. This time, we're chugging. Turn the music off, okay. You know what I'm noticing is the, uh, where's the, uh, isn't speed mod supposed to be on? Oh, no, 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 it's not speed mod. No, there's something different. <laughs> is this a dragon dialogue or something different? It sounds like a frog. It sounds like a human impersonating a frog. They might just be placeholder sounds. I don't know. This happened, but I will remind you guys, this happened on my drunken Japanese 120% run. You can see on my YouTube as well. This is the only other time I, I saw this. Skeet, skeet, skeet. Ah, it's so tight. Here you go, go. <laughs> Noise. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll do it again. <laughs> Noise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. That was awesome. Well, that was a great start. 
great start to this run. Skeep, skeep. <laughs> Even the ones over there are making that noise. Skeep, skeep. What about the fire? Oh, the fire is normal. Ski bobo. <laughs> Ski bobo. Oh! Th that guy made a noise too. Did you hear that? Bro, what the fuck? I'm gonna listen to like every sound I can here. See if this dragon's fucked up. Big enemies like this Gnork with the club cannot be charged. But a quick flame, that should defeat them. Skeep, 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 skeep. Skeep, bubble, bubble. <laughs> Alright, I'm out of there. For the split. There's Dark Hollow. Well, that was an eventful start to the run. I dare say so myself. Uh, where am I gonna go? Let's go, uh... I mean, let's whatever, let's do it this way. Or I'll just go to Stonehill, why not? Big enemies. So let me try to remember where I went uh, in this level last time. Excuse me, I went to... Um, I cleaned up this whole area. I went up to the fountain, so let's go on the fountain. And do that. Ski bobo. <laughs> Skip, 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 bobo. By the way, to anyone who's enjoying this playthrough right now, hey man, I, I haven't been shilling much today, but to anyone who's uh, feeling generous, I'm at 866 subs. I'd love to get back up to 870. Even anything remotely close to 900 would make my heart sing with uh, thankfulness. So yeah, thanks to everyone who enjoys this silly playthrough. Ski bobo. <laughs> Yeah, I like that noise. Ski bobo. I'll have to someone clip from when I was standing in the uh in the floor there. Or standing in Dark Hollow without the music. Uh maybe I'll maybe I'll clip that for a sound. Ski bobo. <laughs> skip, skip, skip. Okay, um I already went this way. Um, I need to go down here for the key, even though I grabbed all this shit. I need to get the key and go. Uh, you guys remember I tried to go into the fucking uh, key chest by doing a damage abuse to get into the hole, but it was just too high. A little too high. Ski bobo. <laughs> I, I will not be able to get that out of my head. Fucking ski bobo. <laughs> Noing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking scat man frogs. Is that everything? Uh, yeah, that's everything. Yeah. Get me out of here. That was easy. Ski bubble. <sighs> so yeah, I'm really looking forward to um, how much more juiced up my fucking glide is, or my um, my jump is gonna get. I'm looking forward to that. Dude, ski bo. I'm a, I've always been a ski bobo fan. Always been a fan. Ski bobo. Okay. So I'm gonna go up here. I already killed these guys once, I believe. Oh. I gotta remember the charge glide is like, or the charge jump is not as good. <laughs> the fucking lag. Now we get to the part where it just lags every five seconds. Yeah, this is basically, when I stopped, 
last time here, I basically stopped when I was back at normal. Essentially, the only difference between this and the normal game is now I can jump a little higher, but my charge speed is a little slower. So it's like almost normal. And it's getting better with each, uh, each level I complete now. Yeah, I'm definitely jumping higher than normal. It's not like super noticeable yet, but I think in the next home world or two, it'll start to get more noticeable. By the time we get to Dreamweavers, it's gonna be like, whoa. And that should not take too long. In fact, I anticipate this, uh, this part two to only take like maybe, oh shit, I forgot the fucking, I forgot the mouth open, dude. Seeing the mouth open from behind, like fucking broke my brain. I was like, what the fuck? Forgot I unlocked it. Ski Bobo. Yo, Dragonbird, thank you for the gift. Love you, Dragonbird. You're the best. Yeah, for Ski Bobo. In honor. For all the fans of Ski Bobo. Yo, lockdown! Thank you for <laughs> thank you for the gift to ski ski bobo. Wherever you are out there, ski bobo, that one's for you. <laughs> the legend himself. That should be all of them. Yeah, just making sure. I think I'm already starting to get back up to like a normal charge speed. Yeah, charge speed feels like almost normal again. When I charge jump, it slows down. When I just empty charge, it feels like normal. And yeah, the jump is like definitely juicier. Like look at that jump. Maybe you can't tell, but like I can definitely tell. Oh shit. Alright, we are going back to Peacekeepers. So once again, uh, this is part two of the entire adventure here. And on part one, we basically um, went as far as we could into the game, just trying to collect whatever we could with like a super nerfed jump. Uh, and so we got all the way to the end of Beastmakers. We basically 100% of Beastmakers, but we got to go back through Artisans, Peacekeepers, and uh, Magicrafters. So here we are on Peacekeepers, just uh, cleaning up the rest of the homeworld. This definitely should not take as long as like a normal run. Oh, we're going to get some nice gems here on uh, Night Flight. We still have not completed this flight level. And as you guys know, flight levels have the highest density of gems in them, actually. Even for how long they are. They, they'd give you, like, if you complete them all in one, um, like I do, then they give you a lot of gems. So, yeah, where are the spinners at? You should jump up into the balloon basket. Yeah. Ski bubble. But, yeah, we had a really weird glitch earlier where, uh, the fucking frogs in Dark Hollow like had their sound like pointer like pointing to the wrong place in memory so he was making like little noises from like the dragon dialogue and so they were like every time they would jump they go like skeet 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 and then every time they croak they go like ski bobo ski bobo skeet 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 ski bobo and then when you kill them they're like noing <laughs> They were very epic frogs. I wanted to I wanted to hang with them forever. Those frogs would be great roommates. Noing. <laughs> skeet, skeet, skeet. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, what's up, Damon? How you doing? How you doing? Alright, um... Bum, 
ba -bum -bum -bum. I gotta go to the key room, but first I gotta grab the key. Put on a little John track. Ski bubble. <laughs> to uh, Dry Canyon. All of these levels have not been 100%. They've been partially completed, but because my jump was nerfed, I couldn't 100% them. So it's going to be the goal here. Hopping by to see what's up. Oh, I'm just chilling, just chilling. <clears throat> planning over, planning to possibly head over to the, uh, to you guys' place uh, tomorrow evening, but I'll text you about it, Damon. I'll text you. I've been texting. Uh, I've been texting your mom about it, but I'll text when I'm on my way. I'll be sure to text you as well, because um, I think I am gonna head over there tomorrow evening because like it's gonna snow the day after. It's already starting to kind of snow a little bit, so I'd like to. I'd like to get like get on the road before it actually gets like snowy. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Fuck. I'm trash. What's up, Jack? Welcome, welcome. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually clean up this air since I'm back here. Or actually, no, I have to go get the... Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Forget that I said that. Fucking this level's routing is so wonky. This is definitely one of those levels that, like, casually you'll spend, like, a good, like, half hour in. Or more. Trying to get everything. If you don't know how to make that glide to this dragon, oh my god. That's, like, where a lot of your time will be spent figuring that shit out. Oh, that reminds me. Speaking of figuring shit out, guys, I have this really cool thing that I'd like to show you. Check this out. This is the official strategy guide for Spyro. The official Prima strategy guide. This thing is sick as fuck. It's got like all sorts of like, look at that art and shit. Look at him. Damn. This thing is sick. Got a bunch of cool concept art. It's got the, got the classic Nestor picture in there. I used that exact PNG of Nestor for my fucking no Nestor speed run. Or no, that's underneath. That picture is underneath my stream. That shit has been in my panels for like ever since 2014. Just click on this green garbanzo up here. You know what I mean? To see the leaderboards. Yep. So yeah, pretty cool. Yo, Neon, thanks for the gift. So I don't know, I might make a video like looking at this or something. I don't know, we'll see. I, I did thumb through it. There really isn't anything that's that interesting in here. I was hoping there would be some like interesting developer insight. I could like clickbait it like oh, the devs knew about speedrunning, you know, <laughs> like or something, but uh. it's cool though. Neon though. Thank you for that gift. Yeah, it's cool to see. I never had it growing up either. So it's, it was cool to get my hands on that. I need the press kit. Well, I, you know what though, um, there is a cool like forward at the beginning of um, that strategy guide where um, the people who are writing the strategy guide, they got in contact with the developers and they asked like f like six or seven different devs, like, hey, w if you could give one tip, you know, to a new player, what would it be? And some of them are like silly, like, you know, like remember to, to fucking change your oil in your car and stuff like that. It's like totally just random shit. <laughs> Classic like 90s like magazine shit. So I was hoping that some of that that developer insight there would have been more valuable, but no, it's just stuff like like press X to jump, you know, and press press X at the top of your jump to really hit those long glides. Basically just like fucking regurgitating the dragon dialogue. You gonna send me some funny shit? Yeah, please do. Or post it in my Discord lockdown. Yeah, spin jump free. Dude, I could probably, actually, I could probably hit that jump without even spinning. Yeah, easy. <laughs> Look at that. Easy money. I didn't even have to spin for that shit. 
Well, maybe I can even make this jump too. Oh, almost, almost. This is a good try though. What's up, Angel? Glad you could be around as kids to stream, enjoy your words of wisdom. Skate ass, eat fast, yo. Those are words to live by. Skate ass. I am gonna be eating some ass uh, in a few days here. So I gotta really make the most of my uh, my time gaming. I do wanna put out one, whoa, shit, I'm gonna die. I do want to put out one uh, one more like solidly edited video before I before I leave for Virginia. You post it in general. All right, I'll look at it later. I'll look at it once I exit this level. Okay, um, where'd my phone go? Let me look at what Lockdown posted here in my Discord. Something insightful, I hope. Do, 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 do. Dragon News Network. God, I gotta like look at the fucking links and stuff. My god, it's taking forever. Spyromania sweeps the country. Is this like a... It's a web archive, yeah, okay. So what year is this? November 2005, er... What year is this one that you, uh, that you linked me here? It's like a web page? It's like a web page of, like, Spyro stuff. This one's from 1999. I'm just gonna glance over this. Because what I'm interested in is, um, is if there's any, like, uh, media from this time that describes, uh, like, uh, tech, like, flame charging or charge gliding or, like, weird, like, you know, ways you could, like, flop off of enemies or things that wouldn't be intended. I'm curious to see if there's any media from the time, like, time period, uh, media that, like, might, that might give insight into some of those techniques. I'm, because from what I understand is that doesn't exist. There is like media from that time period, but it doesn't like tell you how to flame charge, for example, you know? Cheers. But if it did, then that would be um, a great premise for like a video. Did I uh, enjoy The Legend of Spyro 2? A lot of people hate them. You grew up with them, so you got a nostalgia bonus. Sorry to bring up the past. No, it's okay. You don't have to be sorry. Uh, yeah, no, it's fine. In fact, um, there's, you know, there's a lot of people, or maybe there's a very vocal minority that are just like you, uh, Angel. Um, the Legend of Spyro fans are, like, they're real. <laughs> That's surprisingly. They're real. Um, and yeah, they're, they're okay. I mean, like, look, they're... I grew up with, with this game, with the f original trilogy. So those are my obvious preference and I'll venture so far as to say that like, you know, I wish I wish you could have grown up with these ones as well, but you know what? The, you grew up with Legend of Spyro, that's fine too. I did play those games, they're okay. I give them an okay out of 10. They're not like anything I would ever revisit later, like for speedrunning or anything like that. But for what they were at the time, I'm sure, you know, they were fine beat em ups, you know? I remember with like, New Beginning was actually, out, out of all three of them, New Beginning was actually my favorite. A lot of people think, a lot of people say Dawn of the Dragon is their favorite, but New Beginning was actually my favorite. Um, it was the most, I felt like that one was like the most straightforward, like beat em up experience out of all of them. With Dawn of the Dragon, and keep in mind with Dawn of the Dragon, I played that co-op, so that was like a whole different thing. But, and I, and I was playing on PS2, not like, not PS3, which everyone says is like the best version. So I maybe I didn't have like the best possible experience with it, but but uh, yeah. Dude, can I just jump up here? I think I can. Hold on, I'm tired. <laughs> but uh, yeah, fucking Legend of Spyro was like okay. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, it's the fucking worst game ever. But it doesn't, you know, for me, it's not gonna hold a candle to these originals. Not by a long shot. I mean, that's just for me though. It's no disrespect to your childhood though, or like you know. 
anything like that. But there, but I'll tell you this, there's a reason why I'm playing this every day and not like, you know, Eternal Night. But yeah, I'm just happy that you're here and that you uh, that you like Spyro. That's that's really all it is. Is like we're we're all Spyro fans at the end of the day. You know, it's cool. I'm hardly a Spyro fan to be honest with you. Like, if this fucking dragon was like a damn gorilla or like some other thing, like I wouldn't care as long as the game played the same. That's why I like it. I like this game for its mechanical, like for its mechanics, not necessarily for like the. For the for the, like the aesthetics so much. I do like the PS1 like block blocky like you know low res aesthetics, but you know it's like I the the main draw for me is the mechanics. So mechanically speaking, the original trilogy draws me a lot more than than the Legends series does. But that's just my preference. You grew up with them young, you was too stupid to play them. Yeah, you know, that makes sense. I, you know, I, I never thought about it that way, but it's like, if you have access to both, I could see how like a, how like a young child would take more easily to the Legend of Spyro because it's just a simpler game. You know, you just mash buttons and just run through the areas, you know? I could totally see how it's like actually a better experience if you're like a young, just a young whippersnapper than being given all this freedom. Like, all right, collect stuff or don't, you know, it's like, so yeah, I never really thought about it that way. You've reached They say this up considerably. However, the game is not meant to be exasperating. Minimalize the frustration Cerny's vision to minimize the frustration gamers may have with backtracking constant revisiting of some areas. Yeah, where is that? Is that from the fucking internet archive thing that you linked? Is it from that? Post a screenshot of that. That's what that's what I'm, I'm interested in stuff like that. That like that reflects like upon like the uh, like the meta game of, of, Sp of playing Spyro. Like the developers like thought process behind like, you know, things like backtracking and, you know, replayability. That's stuff that I find I find more interesting than just like, you know, whatever. Yeah, collect stuff or don't. <laughs> That's fine too, basically. All right, that should be everything here. Get me out of here. You think um, Crash was like easier than Mario 64 to pick up? I mean, it was definitely a more linear experience. Yeah, I guess you could say just as far as beating the game goes, yeah, like Crash 1 is easier than Mario 64, perhaps? For, and for, a, for a little kid, even. But... You know... My preference, even when I was a little kid, my preference is like, is that games don't, don't hold my hand and, you know, just like, okay, linear adventure game. I've never liked linear platformers. I've always liked open, like, level design like like this game like like the legend of spyro is really linear uh crash bandicoot is really linear level design this game and mario 64 are super open level design and so just these those two games even when i was a kid i preferred them for that uh, let's go dr shim hey what's up strawberry yeah i've been on for four hours <laughs> Oh, you're not in the notification squad? No, you're you're in the special notif- you're in the Snapchat notification squad. Where I send you a cute snap like, okay, booby, I'm going live. <laughs> I forgot to send out that notification to you today. My apologies. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you've been having a good day today. Ludwig, thank you for the gift. Appreciate it. I didn't tell you, I know. And I'm a lot- of, you know what though? I will finish this beer in your honor, Strawberry. Cheers. Ding. The Discord one's fucked for you? What, it doesn't work? Or, or what? Does anyone else have that problem? I, I, we do ping it every day. Does the reaction roll still work? 
No, and you've like, yeah, you get that. Yeah, if you get, make sure you check your notification settings on, not on just the Discord settings, but for the server settings as well. It's really confusing the way it works with Discord because notifications, there's server specific notifications that you can change when you click on the server and the settings there, like above all the channels. And then there's your actual Discord notification settings, which are like in your, it's just so fucking stupid, dude. Discord, I, I'm with you. Discord notifications are fucking stupid. You don't want them, they give them to you. You want them, they don't give them to you. It's like, yeah, I know what you mean. I would like to see a mod that makes every gem a red gem. <laughs> and there's the same number of total. Oh my God, that would be fucking sick. Yeah, that'd be dope. I'm, I'm, I support that. What's up, Smeagol? You haven't missed much? Well, I'm on the second, basically on the latter half of it right now. We're at the part of this playthrough now where my jump is noticeably higher than it is in the normal game. Like, this is probably like twice as hot, like 1.5 times higher than the normal game. So I definitely feel, I feel a little, ju this Spyro's a little juiced. I ain't gonna lie, he's a little juicy. But right now what we're doing is we're just cleaning up all of um, the levels that we had to uh, par only partially complete because we didn't have as juicy of a jump. So we couldn't get through, like I couldn't get through, I couldn't even jump on those platforms. You know what I'm saying? Like last time. So now I'm just completing every level 100%. Uh oh, fuck. Recover it. Hold on, check this out. I was hoping I'd get the roll. You can, like, land on that correctly to roll up it. Oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, Spiral Liver King mode. Sp <laughs> Spiral goes to a drug scandal? Yeah, maybe. I think we're good. Yeah, we're out. We are out. You posted a pic of a turkey in the Discord, thank you. We love turkey. Okay, last level to do, Ice Cavern. And we're out of there. Oh, yeah. Blurg. Yeah, this is actually 120%. Yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna see what the maximum height. Dude, I'm already getting like some pretty juicy height here. Yeah, we're gonna see how high it goes. We are gonna see. So far, we are at 63%. So we're basically halfway through gem-wise, just a little beyond that. So there's a lot of jump height to be gained still. Yeah, it was legitimately challenging last time because my jump, it wouldn't even barely go like... I can't even describe like how high it was. It was like, see, see like right here, like where that fucking weird horizontal texture... I couldn't even like jump like above that. Like, it was so short. Like there were so many platforms I just legitimately could not hit. <laughs> like, and I'm jumping as if, you know, like, it's the same as the normal game, it's not. You'll see me jumping over stuff by accident a lot, like that. Also, you may notice that the charge and charge jump speed are kind of nerfed still. The charge is, like, kind of normal. Those are scaling a little differently. The charge jump is still a little borked, but th they're getting better. So yeah, basically charging and charge jumping is like a little slower than normal and jumping is like a little higher than normal right now. So hopefully as that goes on, that'll that'll get a little bit more OP as well. It won't be as obvious as the jumping, but that is also a thing that is being scaled. <laughs> just, you just jump right above it. It's so tight. Like that jump back there, like I could like barely, I could like barely make this before. And now it's just like, boom, easy. You think I can still hit the 120? Maybe. Man, I'm not, I never give up hope. I never say never.
Hold on, wait, I have an idea. I always wanted to do this as a kid. Can I jump up that? No, I, that's too high. Oh, maybe, hold on. You guys think I can get up there? No, I don't know. No, that, I don't think I, I barely don't think it's high enough. No, I don't think I can. Should I try? Oh! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Childhood me is fucking nutting. Oh my god, the younger version of myself is always one. Dude, tell me that wasn't the most satisfying thing ever. Tell me childhood self of you did not want to do that. That is fucking based. Fucking go. Thank you. You gotta add as soon as you ask. What, what was your question? You have a question? Oh yeah, yeah, it was about 120. Yeah, it's a 120% run, yes. Look at all these lives I'm getting. Juicy lives. Go up to this one, nice. I like that. So the charge jump, yeah, the charge jump still isn't higher than normal. So I gotta make sure I'm normal jumping this. <laughs> Ski bobo. <bubble. laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're getting, uh, we're already starting to get kind of juicy with this jump right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oop. All right, get me out of there. Oh, I didn't even hit any of the splits yet. Okay, that's all 200 gems here. That should be everything in Peacekeepers. Let's go Magic Crafters. Anyone know how to- yeah, you just click on his name, Ludwig. You just click on the name in the chat, and then there should be a button that says Gift a Sub. No, don't hit the gift sub button. Hit the fucking click on their name in the chat, and then it should say gift a sub, you know, for them. It'd be a fun mod if eggs increased to jump. Yeah, dude. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Let's go, Ludwig. I knew you could do it. Hey, Chucker's in the chat, man. You know. Hey, in honor of that, I'm gonna run a few ads that Angelo is so gracefully exempt from now. And also, I am going to, uh, what's it called? Crack open this beer. Guantan high score mod? What does that mean? I don't even know what that means. Cheers. Yeah, I mean, I know you're talking about the island in Misty Bog, but what do you mean like high score? The enemies respawn. And the goal is to max the gem count. I'm I'm still not seeing exactly how that what what you exactly mean by that, but I'm starting to kind of understand what you're saying. So you're saying the enemies just keep respawning, and you just keep kind of going in circles inside of that small room. There's probably like other areas in the game that that would be even better for, is what I'm thinking. Um, like for example, the Stone Hill uh, room with the dragon, where it's like high score for the boxes. You know, how you have to like hit those double boxes. They just like respawn. You just go in circles over and over. Oh yeah, press L3. So the joke behind that, yeah, it's from Spyro Reignited. Because um, in in Spyro Reignited, I, got, I don't even remember this meme. The fucking, I think if you press L3, sparks, like the sparks finder works. So like in Spyro 2, <laughs> let me explain the whole thing. 
the, in Spyro 2, if you press like the shoulder buttons or or like R or something like that, then sparks will point at the at the last gem. And if you're like missing a gem, sparks will point at it. Um, but in Reignited, they made that work with L3. And so I was like, I, I even though I knew that was a thing in Reignited, I was like, I was like, I am pressed. I'm doing the original. You can't do that in the original game. So I'm like, I'm pressing L3 right now. It's not working. So fucking i was like dude no l3s in the chat no fucking backseat l3 ears fuck l3 all my homies hate l3 fuck l3 and so now everyone's like yo press l3 you know fucking bitches yeah it's the where the fuck is the gem button yeah that meme extends into spyro 2 because when i did my first spyro 2 um casual run they said press all the shoulder buttons in order to uh for the sparks finder and i didn't even think it was in that game and so i was like no 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 you guys are trying to i thought it was going to be like in kingdom hearts where if you press all the shoulder buttons and l3 then it takes you back to the main menu so i thought everyone was trolling me trying to get me to, like quit the game or something like a little fail safe <laughs> to use the fucking sparks finder in spyro 2 so that's like the spyro 2 version of that yeah l3 is a real thing in reignited I got all the gems here. Oh, did I really? Uh, yeah, I did. Thank you. I'm like, what am I doing here? I guess I did 100% this level. Yeah, L3's for bitches. Oh, hold on. I want to test something. Can I just jump over this? <laughs> oh, yes, dude. Let's fucking go. Legend. Legend alert. Right, I already did that level. Uh, I don't think I completed Wizard Peak yet. Did I? Let me take a look. Yeah, no, we gotta do Wizard Peak. Yeah, right, Angela? Well, it's the same thing with me. I didn't know there was a Sparks Finder in Spyro 2. Like, same thing. Um, yeah, I have to go this way. I remember things here. Trying to remember what I left and didn't leave. You got someone with the Alt F4 little scam. Yeah, dude, that happened to me in RuneScape when I was a kid. Someone told me to drop all my items and then like Alt F4. Or no, they told me to, to like press like shift. No, they told me to press like a few random buttons and then F5. And that like refreshes the internet page. You have to like re-log back in and stole my shit, motherfuckers. Uh, I think I got that guy. Can I just jump up there? Oh my god, I keep forgetting that I have this power, this superpower to just jump up here. Yeah, we're good. Give me that butterfly, bitch. Touch that. Now, I don't believe supercharge height is affected here. I think the only gems I'm missing here are at this end section. Past here. Yeah, when you're a kid, you never forget getting scammed in RuneScape. Okay, I'm missing a couple of gems. By the way, speaking of Easter eggs... Listen carefully, Spyro. This... There's a secret area in the artisan home. It is at the waterfall. Try jumping on the stone. So there. this dragon, if you talk waterfall. to him before Sounds activating good. the stones in Stone Hill, or in uh, Artisans to, to unlock Sunny Flight, if you talk to him before doing that, then when you go back to those stones, they'll make a noise when you jump on them. They'll go like, bling, 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 bling. I, that was the last thing I learned about this game. That was like, I didn't know that until like 2018 or something. I was like, what the fuck? Because normally those stones don't make noise. You just jump on them and then they don't make noise, basically. I think I have to go up, um, I have to go up this way. Hold on, I got an idea. Yeah, no, I think every, every young kid should like try playing an MMO and then get scammed and like have they should have that experience i really think that it's like character building or whatever 
I don't think I can make that. Teaches you a lot about the real world. Still missing a couple. Where are they? I think they're probably up over here. Yeah, I know where they are. They're on top of this shelf over here, for sure. <laughs> Press L3, bro. <laughs> yeah. L3 that shit. You won't. Yeah, it's the best way to learn that lesson because there's no stakes. It's it's like enough... It, there's enough personal value to like to items in an, in an MMO to where you feel like there there's value to them. You feel like oh I earned these items, you know. There's enough to where you feel like there is value, but it's also like at the end of the day there is no real value to that, you know. So even if you do lose your entire RuneScape bank, you know, it's not like you know it's not like that affects you in the real world. So it, it is a great. I really think that is like a great like uh, way for children to learn the, like. The, that lesson about like that people are trying to scam you and and deceive you and stuff because there is really no stakes at the end of the day but it, it will make you feel like you know like like there was oh i think i uh i already did this level You're gonna scam your own kids? <laughs> yeah, that's ruthless. <laughs> you're gonna like make an alt, you're gonna like fucking catfish them and shit as their dad. That's fucking disgusting, dude. You're gonna pretend to be a cute girl. You're gonna see the you're gonna see the fucking dark side of your fucking of your own kids. That's I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm if I can uh, get down with that. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna make your kids fucking Ugh. Alright, um where am I going? Okay, we got everything here. <laughs> Just teaching you a lesson, boy. <laughs> um, dude, imagine you're talking to some girl, like, on a fucking, like, on RuneScape or something. And you're, like, cybering with her. She's like, oh. And then out of nowhere, she's like, she's like, Joey, this is your father. <laughs> you, I know you didn't do your homework. And I, this, I'm teaching you a lesson. <laughs> Just out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, that's so awful. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, and we complete. Okay, so so far we've gotten everything in the first um, four home worlds. Nice. Okay, so we can move on to Dreamweavers at this point. Nice. We are getting some juicy jumps here, y'all. Can I just jump up to these? Come on, you gotta give me this. You gotta give me this. Fuck. Come on, let me at least, let me get on this. Let me at least do this while I'm here. Let me fly over to this one. Oh shit. Yeah, whatever, dude. Let's go to Dreamweaver. Let's get some more, we gotta get, we gotta get some more jumps. We need some more hops up in here. LeBron James, dude. Barely had a chance to patch that leak. Never read that message before. I always just mashed through it. Hmm. <sighs> yeah. I need to skip through some of these. Alright, Haunted Towers. Yeah. Now we're actually... Doing a normal run here. <laughs> Fucking oh my god, and the lag too. The lag is gonna be insane in this home world. Check this out. Can I make that? No, I can't make that. I thought I was <laughs> I was thinking like, yeah, I got that easy. I got that. No, soon enough. Soon enough we will have that. We will have that jump soon enough. 
Because these levels are going to have a lot of gems in them. So once I get done with uh, Dream... Especially once I get done with loot. Oh my god, it's going to be crazy. Charge is max supercharge. I mean, that's basically what my 200% speed run was, basically. It's basically like charge speed was like super fast. This is like the more jump focused equivalent. Which, if you guys haven't seen, exclamation point new vid in the chat for a link to that 200% speed run. Oops. Fuck. Instead of Roxy, rat Roxy. Instead of rat proxy, can you just jump? Yeah. I mean, there's no proxy at that point. You can just jump. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get that much height. I'm not sure if we will be able to, but we'll see. Just jump. Yeah, you'll I think you'll definitely be able to. By the time we get to Nasty, we'll be able to just jump into his portal. Because all you have to do is get over over the, like, the little nostril or whatever. That's all you got to do. Uh-oh. And that ain't gonna work. That shit ain't gonna work. Hold on, but I wonder though. I wonder if I can make the glide. Let's find out. I don't think I'm making that. You cannot uh, skip into Nasty's loot. The only uh, the only level you can skip into is a uh, Nasty Nork. Which is nice because that's where like the you know where a lot of categories end. But you cannot get into Nasty's loot early without like weird task strategies that are like not humanly reasonable. Um I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, I've done Sparksless. In fact, I did a Sparksless no-hit run. I'm the only person to ever do that. I don't have the world record speed run of Sparksless. That would be held by Adam Bandicoot Dragon. Oh, what the fuck, dude. Can I jump over him? Oh, yes, you can! <laughs> Let's fucking go. You can just jump over him. Just jump over him, lol. Just fucking... <laughs> genius. Oh, God, I'm a genius. Good joke, dude. Fuck it. That's that's called ba that's just basketball right there, baby. That's just the game. <laughs> that's called ingenuity. Dude, a mod where you can super flame everything and not just the cheats. Well, dude, I'm saying let's take that a step further. Let's make it like Red Faction Gorilla. You remember that game? Dude, you're fucking super flame, but you can actually just break down the walls and shit. Like, just your flame, just fully destructible environments. That would be fucking dope. Imagine that. Imagine someone reworked like a fan game that like rebuilds the original game, but just with fully destructible environments. Now we're talking. You had four bananas about to go bad, so you're baking them. Oh yeah, that's smart. I like that. I like that strat. Make a little banana bread. Banamba bread. Man, sparksless? Jeez. Let's be careful with the damage here. Do this. Is this the last run of the day? Yeah. Yeah, this is the last run. No, I, I'm not the- I don't do nine hour streams. Unless I'm like really fucking around. I have done nine hour streams, but... Only for, only on special occasion. Or if I'm like addicted to... To like fucking Morrowind or something. 
But no, as for just Spyro, I don't usually play Spyro for more than like three to five hours on a given day. Is Toontown not dead? I mean, I play it with uh, Strawberry sometimes. Oh yeah, yeah. Like me and Str it's like a it's like a fan server or whatever. It's called Toontown Rewritten. the The official servers are dead, but Toontown Rewritten exists. It's a revival. It's pretty sick, actually. Easiest wall glide of my life, dude. The jumps are so big. Oh, sleepy. Fucking lag. Oh, bitch. Go up two stairs at a time. Oh yeah, two stairs. Let's go. Dude, man, I don't even have to activate these guys. Hold up. Hold up. Man, fuck that guy. I'm saying let's just go up like that. Oh, man. Let's go. Is that easy? Oh, what the fuck? Ah. Uh, I got a little too full of myself there. Try that again. Two stairs. Oh, I'm sleepy. You're waiting for someone to make you a crying email. Oh yeah, did you commission one? Nice. Sweet. Oh my god, I'm a sleepy boy. Sleepy baby. I'm gonna make a fucking burrito after this run. It's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna put Funyuns in it and beans and rice and veggies and stuff. It will be delicious. The burrito sounds like I hate my toilet. I mean, like, look, I might, I might have diarrhea. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. But I need to get through these uh, beans and rice, you know? Like, I made a bunch of homemade beans and rice. So I might as well get through it. It's not that bad. As far as burritos go, trust me, it gets way, like, gnarlier than that. As far as, like, doing a number on your, uh toilet goes. Um, yeah, I could cook up some like, oh, I could cook up some like fajita style like meat or whatever, but I think I'm just going to leave that on the freezer for when I get back. I'm going to go vegetarian tonight, really focus in on the beans and rice. I jumped over. Hold on, can I hit him at the top of his... <laughs> My jump was easier. You get to kiss me in two days? Yeah. I'm excited to see you. Oh. Yeah, the jumps are getting pretty juicy at this point. The charge jumps aren't that big, but the actual normal, like, full hops. Like, I could probably... Hold on, let me test this. I could probably just jump from here to the fucking next platform. Uh, it ate the fucking glide, dude. That was the lag eating my fucking input right there. Hold on, let me try that again. 
Look at that. Easy. Right, let me head back and clean up this other area first. Do we call each other by our usernames in real life? No. I mean, sometimes, but not really. No. We just call each other like, uh, Booby or Baby. We use like cute coupley names like that. Little nicknames. You think your mom's gonna scare me off? I'll probably be a little intimidated, I'm not gonna lie. When I first meet her, I don't want her to get a bad impression of me or anything. What's the next off-branch Spyro I'm gonna play? Like the next like challenge run thing like that? I don't know. I don't really have any plans for anything at the moment. I might do a Crash 3 run once I actually like get a hold of that game. I miss him. I miss him. Oh no, I got him. He's dead. Yeah, the, the fan chest hit him. I can just get up over here and do this. Or actually what I'll do is I'll go back this way. Oh, it's so nice to be able to traverse this area, like, liberally. I don't have to, like, worry about Because, look, if it was a normal game, I would have had to death abuse and do the supercharge again, you know? It's so nice to not have to do that. I feel like wearing a shirt has an effect on my gameplay? No. I mean, if I'm hot, I, it really what it is is like, if I'm really cold, then yes, that'll have an effect on my gameplay, so I'll put on a shirt. And if I'm really hot, then yes, I'll take off my shirt, because that would have an effect on my gameplay. So if you see me wearing a shirt or not wearing a shirt, it's just like... That in itself isn't what's affecting my gameplay. It's just the, the temperature. But unless I'm like actually whining about it, like, oh, my hands are freezing or whatever, like, I'm probably fine. a steak nice sounds good oh what kind of steak We're talking like a ribeye ribeye we should play donald duck going quackers and bug dom too hey all right thanks for the suggestion Just so you know i'm not i'm never gonna play either of those games oh, let's go over to dark passage Do I think Skylanders killed the Spyro IP? No, I think it was dead after the original trilogy. Every game that came out after the original trilogy, I think it's fair to say was was pretty, like... You know, like, look, I, this is this is gonna sound like maybe for the Spyro fans out there, this might be a little mean, but pretty much every game after the Spyro trilogy did not do well, and I don't think it was a reflection of, like, the quality of game that, like, the original trilogy games were. Like, all the Game Boy games, all these weird, like, you know, third party, your fucking Spyro Orange, Legend of Spyro, I'm sorry, I know you like Legend of Spyro, Angelo, but, like, look, like, those games are just not, like, you know what I'm saying? They're not as powerful as the original trilogy, in terms of just, like, let's just say they didn't sell as well, okay? Let's just leave it at that. Opinions aside, no, none of the Spyro games, like, after the original trilogy, I don't think sold as well. So... 
It was a dying series before Skylanders came out. For the, the, as for the IP, you know, like... Like, again, I want to reiterate something. Like, I don't care about Spyro, like, as an IP. I don't care about Spyro 4 coming out. I always talk about this. As someone who plays Spyro every fucking day, it's not that I, oh, I'm a big Spyro fan. Oh, I love all the fan art. I love all the fucking OCs, and I love dragons, and I love, you know, jerking off to Rule 34 of Elora and stuff. Like, it's not, That's not what it is for me. For me, I just genuinely enjoy the mechanics of this one game. I find this one game to be satisfying to play. It's like a fun like adventure into speedrunning and, and com like competitive gaming for me. And it doesn't matter that Spyro is a fucking dragon or, you know, that it's the IP of the fucking Spyro. Or like, I don't give a fuck about the IP. I don't care about Spyro 4. I don't care about Spy the fact that he's a dragon. I hardly care about the aesthetics of this game. You know, I just like the, the mechanics of it. That is like what what draws me to the original trilogy, specifically Spiral One. And so I don't really care about any of the other games in a, in, a, in like a serious sense. Now, will I play all the other games and try them out? Well, yeah, because that's what my my audience is a bunch of Spiral fans. So yeah, of course, you know. But no, I don't really care about like the Spiral IP. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ho hopefully my my perspective makes some sense. Uh, it's there's no disrespect to anyone who's like a true Spiral fan. But it's like, I, I just don't care, like, about the IP, you know? That, that's really, like, where my head's at. Yeah, the music's good, too. Here's another, like, hot take, you know, that I, that I often share is that the music in this game is good, but it's not like the best video game soundtrack ever or anything. People fucking come into my chat, they're like, Stuart Copeland was a genius. You hear how he took the fucking MIDI guitars and transposed it all up a fourth? Like on that PlayStation Magazine interview? He's a genius. He's such a genius. It's like, dude, it's like, it's not bad. It's great. It's, it's a, as far as video game soundtracks go, it's one of the better ones for sure, but I'm not fucking listening to the Spyro soundtrack that much in my free time. I know a lot of you guys do, so it's no disrespect. It's a good soundtrack, but it's not like I don't play this game for the music. I don't play it for the aesthetics. I don't play it for the character. I play it strictly because I find the mechanics um, really satisfying to improve at. It's like playing this game is like it's a reflection into myself, uh, and that's all due to the physics and the mechanics and charging and gliding and uh, trying to play play optimally. And so, at a certain point, it's like, I don't really care about the music, I don't care about the fucking visuals. Th those aspects are good, also, and they do help prop this game up, and make it easier to play repeatedly, but... You know, that's not, like, the, the main draw of it for me. It's the purely, like, a mechanically driven uh, venture for me. I, I really hope that this, like, makes sense. It's not to talk shit. If you like, the, you know, Spyro for any other reason, but I'm just explaining, like, why I like it. That's really all I'm all I'm trying to share with you guys here. So these questions about like Spyro's IP and what do you think about Legend of Spyro? It's like the simple reality is like I I don't really care about any of those any of that. Like that's just really what it is. I will I will share my opinions about that because I kind of have to have opinions about it because you know I'll be asked about you know what about Reignited trilogy? It's like I'm gonna get those questions over and over because that's what my audience is interested in. But you know, just sharing what I'm actually interested in. It's, I don't really actually care about this, like, this, the franchise of Spyro, it's like, doesn't, it really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if they make a Spyro 4. If they make a Spyro 4, I care about it to the extent that I can make content out of it. You know, my audience would like that, so I would like that. That's, like, kind of how that is for me. But do I personally give a fuck about if Spyro 4 comes out? Like, no. Beyond just, like, making a few videos out of it. And do a stream of it or something. It's the same thing with Reignited. It's like Reignited was cool, but it's like it, it nothing can replace the original like experience. Even a remake. Yeah, right, Strawberry? I feel that. Mm. 
You guys talking about how they got rid of the guns in Twilight Harbor? Yeah, I mean, I wish they would have kept them, but I mean, I get why they removed them. It's just silly. So whatever, it's fine. I don't care. Like, it's it's not like guns being in Twilight Harbor would have saved, you know, would have really changed my opinion about Reignited in a big way. But yeah, I hope I hope you guys don't take like my opinion as like too negative. Like all the others, I'm glad I got to explore all the other Spyro games and you know do full streams of them and really have a real experience with them and be like, all right, these games, you know, and for the most part, all these games they're just like uh, okay, they're they're okay, you know. I don't fucking love them, I don't hate them, I don't give two fucks about them, you know. Like and I hope that's not like a like a negative thing. I mean, it's just that this one game is so fucking good. That, yeah, how could any fucking other game compete with it? It's so good. This game is really good. That's like my genuine opinion. They're never gonna make another Spyro game that's anything close to this shit. And that's just the truth of it. So I get a lot more excited when it comes to like mods and fan made like projects that are meant to emulate the original style of these games or of like PS1 platforming in general, because that's something that's closer to what I imagine like a spiritual successor to this game. Something that I latch onto, like I lat latch onto the physics and mechanics of a game like Zera more than I latch onto the updated graphics of Reignited. That that has to make sense to you guys. I, 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 I know I'm gonna have to reiterate that point like a lot, but it's, I have to like, I, I do have to reiterate it a lot because there there is often, you know, conversation, oh, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? It's like, I just, I'm like, it's no offense, but I just don't really care that much about a lot of aspects of the Spyro IP. But I, I kind of have to, because I'm like the, because I make a lot of content out of the, out of this game. So it just is what it is. It's part of the territory. Is anyone here like I'm the, is anyone here like me? Is anyone here like kind of echo my sentiment about it or or no? I mean, it's okay if not. Like, I'm not asking you guys to feel the same way as me. I'm just, I'm like, I'm like curious, you know? It seems to me like a lot of people, like, do not feel the same, at least among Spyro fans, like, do not feel this way. That's like, who cares about the other Spyro games? Who cares about Spyro 4, like? Like, I want to see some mods, you know? I want to see, I want to see Zera. I want to see those things, you know? That's, that's way cooler to me than Spyro 4. The, an imaginary Spyro 4, that's probably not gonna happen, yeah, fucking... Let's get excited about that. Go watch Canadian Guy A and get excited about that. But yeah, it's, it's not to put down anyone that does, again, to reiterate, it's not to put down anyone who does like that stuff, or likes Legend of Spyro, or Enter the Dragonfly. I mean, I know plenty of people who like uh, Enter the Dragonfly. I mean, I know it's like this joke of a game, right? To a lot of people, but it's like there are people who seriously speedrun that shit, you know? So, or Hero's Tale. So I tried all those games, you know? I'm not dissing anyone that plays them. It's just, it's really like not where my interest is at all. People over here like analyzing the fucking the new crash game that got like announced the fucking wumpa league or whatever and they're like analyzing the fucking loading screen like oh well hold on maybe spyro 4 <laughs> it's like a meme dude it's like how could that how could i not like joke about that like oh they spyro 4 guys like who cares that's like the whole joke is like who cares if they release a spyro 4 that's like my whole that's my whole point like I, is I don't really care. Like, 
It's okay if you do, but I, I just don't. Oh! I only care to the extent that I can make content out of it, which is like a unique uh, scenario compared to most people. No, it's yeah, it's the game is lagging. It's because I'm I'm loading this mod through a USB, so it, it it is the game lagging, not the stream. Yeah, sorry to anyone who feels gaslit by that. I know it's frustrating for me too. No, that lag is coming from the game itself, with the periodic stutters. Uh, I think I have enough lives. But yeah, you know, this this sentiment, I, I am going to have to, you know, reiterate it, you know, many times over. You know, when the topic of, damn, this jump is getting pretty high. When the topic of Spyro as an IP, like, comes up, or Spyro 4, or Reignited, or Legend of Spyro, or what do you think about Dawn of the Dragon, or fucking this and that, or what do you think about the GBA game? It's like, this is just my audience, you know, it's like, I, so I'm going to have to reiterate that a lot. That it's like, I only like this game. All right, we're at 10,000 gems, and we are jumping like fucking LeBron James on a sunny afternoon. I'm ready to go to Nasty's World, ladies and gents. I'm ready to go. Get these last, you know, few thousand gems and call it a day. Oh, I'm going to run some ads. Hey, if any of you guys agree with what I'm saying here, or if you're just enjoying this uh, stoned-ass run right now, hey man, consider gifting a sub. Thanks. And if you're watching on YouTube right now, I love you. <gasps> Can I jump all the way up there? Not quite. After uh, Nork Cove, I'm gonna try to jump directly into uh, Nasty, Nasty Nork. Yeah, I'm gonna try jumping into Nasty after this. Yeah, that, that's what I should do, Obungus. There's like multiple ways to do this, like hacked PS2 stuff. And I, apparently the, the better way, the lag, the less laggy way is to use an ethernet cable. But I'd have to like reset up everything as far as I understand. So if I could find, once I figure out the easy way to do, I mean, once I go through an entire evening of fucking with that, then yeah, I'll have that set up. But for now, I'm fine with it just being on a USB. Well, I'm gonna try jumping on top of this boat. <laughs> Yo. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you can't stand on it. All right. Yeah, I know, something like this, it's like, more more common to play something like this on emulator. I just, I just much prefer using a, a console. It's just easier for me with the whole capture setup and OBS and everything. Input delay and whatnot, even if there is a little lag here or there. Oh! Interesting. That's a strat. Get the guy to smack the fucking uh, the thing behind him. That's even fast. Oh, I want to see if I can get on top of that roof. That one may also not have collision. Oh, nice. This one does. Oh, just kidding. Where am I? Oh. <laughs> I'm going into the fucking. 
Boom! <laughs> Kaboosh! <laughs> this is starting to get pretty wacky now. Gotta be careful not to die. Ski <laughs> bobo. Yeah, I might I might explore a few levels. If you guys got any recommendations for levels I should explore, let me know. Once I get done with loot. Town square. Tree top. I'm just gonna do this. I have like new laws or no uh, sparks. Dude, my charge is getting noticeably faster, actually. Juicy ass charge. <laughs> Just missing these chests. <laughs> I've not had to buy a lot of copies of Spark. Maybe like I've gone through maybe like four maybe in like the ten years I've been speedrunning this game. Four or five copies and like the same amount of PS2s. Um, but I have gone through dozens of controllers. That's the part I have to get a lot of is because um, these controllers, they'll work after like a month or two, but they won't be as good as like when they're fresh. So I've got I've had like maybe like 50 like controllers over the last couple years. Oh yeah, let me jump into nasty. Wait, oop, my bad. Give me this. <laughs> Easy money. <laughs> Go to Magic Crafters. All right. Yeah, I'll explore a little bit after the run. What's up, Strawberry? But you guys got a sub. That's all I'm saying. If you're enjoying the run or not, that's okay too. I'm just trying to get back up to 900 subs, so if you're enjoying this wacky playthrough. I'm starting to move pretty quickly here, to be honest with you. This is pretty satisfying. It's at finally, now that I'm in Nasty's home world, it's finally satisfying. Boom. I have to make the banana bread delicious. Nasty's run if you go up the platform? No. No, he won't. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'll re-enter the level. In fact, um, here's what I'll do. Since I, uh, since I grabbed all these gems already, I'll do this. Check this out. I'm gonna take a death, and then it'll be basically like I'm at the start of the level. I'll show you what happens when I go up the, to the Nasty platform early. He just stands there. You can't, like, hit him or anything. He just stands. He's standing there. It is pretty funny to stand up here, though, I will admit that. But yeah, you need to, like, activate the key in order to continue the level. Oh, let me try going up here. Oh, yeah, here's some unexplored territory. Yeah, I've never been up here before. God damn. What's that over there? I think there's, like, a weird, like, cell somewhere out here. Yeah, over... Oh, no, no, that's the, uh... Yeah, that's the lava room. Anyways.
Yeah, I'll do credit. Oh, that's a great idea. I'm gonna do credit skip without jumping off of Nasty. Without proxying. I didn't even think about that. some of these platforms. Okay. So let me try, uh... Man, I don't know if I can go high enough, actually. I wonder if I can undo uh, this. No, I don't think I can do that. I think credit skip might be impossible because I, I can't jump high enough to get over the, the shit there. I can't backtrack to the... Well, hold on. Maybe in theory I could backtrack, like, and then fly... Well, I don't think I could get high enough to, like, fly all the way back here. I don't think I could do that. Maybe I can do that, I don't know. Should I flame him? I'm gonna. Mm, this, you know, I'll explore this after the after the run. Let me let me hit him for now. I'll explore this after the run. But yeah, I think maybe what I was thinking is maybe I could get up to one of those really high, like out of bounds platforms, and then fly around the the lava room and hit him from underneath. Maybe that that can work. I don't know. Flame him and glide to the maybe, uh, maybe. That, that, I don't know. I could have tried that. Yeah, I could have tried that. I'm not sure if that would have worked though. I'm not sure if the height would have been, if the trajectory would have made sense there, but maybe. Whatever. Uh, I'll, I'll explore that a little bit more after the, after loot. Oh my god. Oh, stretchy. My god, stretchy boy. It's only four o'clock right now, it's still light outside. Where's my beer? Great question, Jed. It's right here. And you know, I'm chugging for every sub in the chat. If you've been enjoying this run so far, we are getting on the tail end of it, right where things are getting interesting, actually. So, hey, if you're curious to see me explore some of these crazy out of bounds areas, like up on top of these, uh, you know, roofs and shit, Billy Bob, this chug is for you and everyone else. Love you guys. Let's go, Billy Bob. I'm gonna go pee. I'll be right back. We are not done yet. We have to finish loot, and then we're going to explore some of these outer areas. BRB. I'm back. 
right in the nick of time as always. And then we gotta talk to the dragon back here. Nasty's ancient history now. So what's in what's there? In there? I believe this I believe in balls. What's up, Will? What? Oh, I need to get these. Forgot about these little gems here. Grab this. I gotta go to the 200 out of 200. What am I missing? Oh, I didn't go to Twilight Harbor yet. I, I skipped straight into Nasty. Forgot about that. This will be a fun level to explore with the super jump, though. Oh, no music. Music glitch. I pause and unpause. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I know. I should just beatbox the whole thing. Alright, so let me see. Can I? Yeah, I can jump up here. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Up up here, and then uh, I can't get on top of those pillars. But I might be able to make it to the. Nah, I don't think I can make it to the lighthouse from here. Let me just continue the level as normal. Ooh. Another ladybug here. Whoa. <laughs> this jump is fucking crazy. The charge is getting fast too. I'm liking this. My kind of charge. Oops, I almost died. Oh. oh my god. He's too good. Zooming. The return. <laughs> yep. Ooh, nice juicy supercharger. It might be actually too juicy. No, this is perfect. You know what I just realized? I can just do this. <laughs> this, is, this is a much better route. I like this route. Oh, hey, you know what? I gotta grab this guy down here anyways. Easy money, dude. Oh my god. Get on top of the yeah. Get on top of the roof. Oop. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Hold up. We're not done yet. Yeah. Let me see if I can make it to the to the lighthouse. Oh, what the fuck? Hold on. Try that again. Can't make on the light onto the lighthouse like that. I wonder if I can glide over to this thing. It'll be a challenge, but it is possible. I'm probably gonna die here. Turn around, Spyro. Turn around. Can I live? Am I gonna live? Livers? Nice, liver king. Cool. Let's continue, shall we? Oh, can I jump up from down here? Almost. Not quite. Hey, you fucking bitch. 
I can do this though. <laughs> Sweet. You can actually get up here with supercharge, and in Vortex, what they do is they'll. Oh, what the fuck is it? Oh, it's just the collision. What they do in Vortex is they actually. Well, this is an old strat. But, uh. Let me, let me grab some sparks and see if I can do it. Get a little squeeze. Just for funsies. Sweet, cool squeeze, bro. Epic. Oh shit. Alright, let's roll. Dive bomb. Death from above. Where am I? <laughs> I should just like... Oh my god. Dude, these fucking spring boxes are hard to get with the jump. Oh, what the fuck? You just like... A little quick turn on me there. Oh, dude, damn, yeah, he did it again there. It's because when I go above them, they like reset their animation, I think. I think that's what's happening. Yeah, like, see what I'm saying? When I come from above, they're like extra difficult. Don't see? Come on, pussies. Jesus Christ. Ninety-eight. Oh, I'm missing one. Anyone see it? Um, it's one of these guys. Oh, oh looks like we're hidden back. Yeah, press L three. <laughs> yeah, no pussies here. Are you able to go the other way, jump high to flame him to glide to- Are you talking- you're talking about Nasty Nork, right? I'm trying to use my context clues here. Oh, there's the green. I guess I don't need to go through the vortex either, so let's just get out of here. Oh. Oh, you saw it? Cool, thanks, Lockdown. Yeah, so what I was- what I was thinking of doing, PS1, um... After, uh, after I get done with... Dude, what the fuck? What am I still missing? Do I have to go through the vortex? Is that what it is? I'm missing an egg thief? Oh, yeah, I'm missing an egg. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Oh, where is it? Where is that bitch? Did I, skip? Did I go past it? I think I went past it. Bro, where are they? <laughs> am, I, am I stoned? It should be like a empty thing somewhere. What? It's supposed to be like a little X, like a little empty egg on the inventory. Is it an alpine? Am I just stoned? Magic crafters? Oh, did I not even go into alpine? Oh, I just didn't even, I didn't even go into Alpine. That's the issue. Yeah. Okay, I see. How did I just forget that? <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's go Magic Crafters. Yeah, I guess I just forgot to go into Alpine. That's pretty cool. Luckily, I don't have that issue on my normal runs. Just forget a level entirely. In my defense, I mean, in my defense, I was trying to backtrack and I'm doing it all weird and shit, so whatever. Forgive me for just missing an entire level. I didn't even touch Alpine. Yeah, well, on my world record, I didn't forget to go into Alpine. <laughs> Unsubbing? You better sub right now. If you like Alpine Ridge, you better sub right now. I'm doing it for you. Alpine bitches. Hold on, wait, 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 I want to stand on the- wait, 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 let, let him- let him do it. I want to stand on top of it. Oh. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> Sweet. Hey, where the fuck? Who who out here just standing on their cube right now? Who out here playing with their cube? <laughs> all my, where are all my homies in the chat, man? Who just who on their cube shit right now, man? Free cube. Yeah, it's free. What are you gonna do about it, Spora? I ride the bus for free in this town. <laughs> Cheers. Hey, someone get Spora a sub. He has third place in 120%. Spora's a legend. I think. Right? Yeah, you beat Chris. Spora's faster than Chris. Did you guys realize that? I know some of you guys watch Chris LBC. Spora beat Chris's PB. Some of you guys don't know that. Chris, Chris is, Chris is canceled. Chris is dead. Who the fuck is Chris? It's all about Spora. You know, I used to have a seven in my name as well. I used to be Deoman7. So maybe there is something with the seven username, homies. We got, we got some kind of superpower. Oh, oh, all right, all right, I'll continue. God damn it. <laughs> well, I guess we didn't need the stairs. That's fine. Hold on, I want to go on top of this little, like, this little alpine ridge right here. Yo, Neon with the gifts. Damn. Dude, this spot is tight. I like this spot. This is like a fucking chill spot. I'm gonna, you know I'm going to take a sip of beer in every chill spot. Especially in honor of you, Neon. Thank you. I wonder if I could like glide all the way to that shit. I'm gonna barely miss it. Oh, the pain. The pain inside. I should have grabbed the dragon that was right there. Oh, well, maybe I can do the fucking vortex strat like super easily. Something tells me it will not be super easy. Nope, still hard. Still a hard strat. <laughs> I'm going to the water at least. Yeah, I could get that if I gave two fucks about it, but you see, that's where you- that's where you fucked up. <laughs> thinking I gave a fuck about any strat that didn't have to do with 120%. You guys think I'm a well-rounded speedrunner in this game? Think again. I would love to get on top of the- the castle there. I might try that once I clean up this area. Oops. Oh shoot. Oh, can I get on this? Hold up. Hold up. Yep, yep. Dude, I'm I'm hitting every alpine ridge imaginable right now. I'm the king of ridges. Uh-oh. Oh, oh <laughs> fucking recovery, dude. Give me this guy. Get me back up here. Someone needs to do an infinite flight code. Yeah, I agree. That'd be cool. I don't know if that would like really I don't know. It'd be cool for like an infinite flight vortex, I think, run. Not for like infinite flight, like any percent or 120. That like probably wouldn't be that cool. But yeah, for vortex, that'd be cool. Just fly, just <laughs> fly directly to every vortex. Where was I trying to go? I think I was trying to go uh, over here on top of these, on top of day ridge. Can I get on that? Oh, no, I'm gonna fall through. Who out here playing with a ridge? I'm gonna go this way. What's the task trick I mentioned to skip into loot? It's called a double rat proxy. <laughs> I forgot who did it, but uh, might have been like Hopkid or someone. 
but yeah, it's like a TAS only thing. They like use two rats to proxy into the fuck, to get like underneath the mouth or like in between like the lips of the mouth. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, it's a double rat proxy. <laughs> it's a real thing, but it is TAS only. Well, I mean, I, like by TAS only, I mean like, they, like he sat there with the fucking, whoever did it sat there with like uh. the save state, you know. I guess it technically wasn't tasked. I mean, I think it was safe stated from what I understand. Yo, Nasty, thank you for the gift. Cheers. So I guess it it wasn't it wasn't tasked actually. Yeah, it's like totally famous last words. I don't think it really was technically tasked. It was safe stated. But uh, either way, I mean, like I mean, like to, to just do it on console would just be for dra for bragging rights. Um, I'll put it this way, it's emulator only, <laughs> for now. I've never seen anyone do it on console. And even if you could do it on console, there's like no practical purpose in any speedrun to get into loot early. So... So that's, that's again why it's another like, kind of, kind of lucky miracle that it just so happens that Nasty's dragon head is the only one without collision on the top. It's like kind of a lucky, lucky thing. Oh yeah, that's true. It would be practical if it could be done. Like yeah, that's true. It would it would change vortex. It would make it would turn vortex into a. Right now, vortex is considered a category extension of cheat percent. If you want to be very technical about what it is, vortex is uh, is cheat percent, but an extension of that because you don't actually go through every vortex in the game. There's a vortex in loot. So therefore, true vortex is a separate miscellaneous category that is basically 120 percent uh up into loot and then you go into the loot vortex which uh wally wally has done it <laughs> wally has done true there have been a couple of nerds out there that have done true vortex but yeah vortex runs as you know it do not contain the loot vortex because you have to complete 120 percent or do a fucking really whack wacky double rat proxy that Currently is not a thing. But if someone were to do a vortex run, my opinion, here's my opinion. If someone did a vortex run with double rat proxy and got into loot, even if it took them like an hour or whatever, I would say that run deserves to be number one on the vortex leaderboards. That's my true opinion about that. I don't think at that point it should be, it should be counted towards the vortex and true vortex category. What do you think about that? That probably wouldn't happen unless the trick was made like somewhat like replicate replicatable, but that that is that is my like hot take, I guess, or whatever. Speedrunner take. If someone did a vortex run and then like got double rat proxy. Even if they took forever, it should still be number one on the leaderboards. But yeah, there is a separate category called true vortex, and that's where probably such a run would go. It's just all wild and arbitrary, just measuring of stuff based on what we can do in the game and what's like reasonable for a run. I think it's, it's you know, it's less about like, okay, let's go through every vortex and more like, like, let's, let's like, let's beat the game like in a, in a fun way, you know, it's, it's more like that. So I think even if someone were to do that, it probably wouldn't get onto the actual Vortex leaderboard unless it was done like, you know, unless it was there was a argument for the replica replicability of it. Am I the world record holder for true Vortex? I don't know, maybe. Am I? Is Are cheats allowed in... No, I mean... Yeah, maybe I am... Yeah, I think I am, right? Yeah, I guess so. I, I don't know. He's fast. Yeah, he's moving. Yeah, we've... Uh, this is the last level for us to complete before, uh, before loot.
Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, thank you. That was, I knew there was some disconnect. Yeah, that, thank you for explaining that, Strawberry. Yeah, that's true. I don't go through every vortex in my runs. So unless I did a 120% run that specifically went out of its way to do every vortex, then it would not be true vortex. It's not, I don't I don't complete all of the vortexes in my 120 runs. Thank you. I, I knew I knew I, that's what that's what I was trying to get to get out in my head. I was like, no, I'm not the true vortex guy. Like, you are not him. Yeah, I, because I pause and exit levels, I'm not the true vortex guy. You just fly through these? Yeah, those don't have collision. Well, what about back here? Oh, no. Boom. All right, well, I think we got everything here. Let's get out of here. I think we've we've done enough explore. Alpine Ridge is a cool level to explore with the uh, super, super jump. Yeah, so Neb, that's what I'm talking about. That's what true Vortex is, because you have to complete the game 100%. And just, you basically are doing a 120% run, but just get all the Vortexes. So if you want to see that, that exists. You just got to go, just got to Google Spyro Trilogy Category Extensions. And then it's like a speedrun.com leaderboard where you can see all those, all those uh, wacky, weird categories. You see what I'm saying? All right, I'm done talking about this. Uh, can we go on top of anything here? Dude, not only has Wally done that, Wally has done like um, a back-to-back, -back, like every miscellaneous category of this game run. Like it took him like 16 hours or something. It's crazy. It's somewhere on his channel. Wally's a madman. Right when you think he's he's done, he comes back with another, with another scheme. All right, guys. So here's the thing. So we're basically at the end of of this of this playthrough, essentially. Um, but I do have super jump, as you can see, because I've collected a lot of gems. Now, I'm gonna head towards loot right now. But on the way, I'm gonna stop in at a few levels and uh, just fuck around in them, starting with high caves. If there are any other levels you guys want me to fuck around with with the super jump, uh, feel free to let me know or drop a sub and let me know. You know what I'm saying? That'd be cool too. Uh, but yeah, essentially at this point, I'm just kind of fucking around. Misty bog, treetops. All right, we'll head that way after this. Let's see like what I can access around here. Better to first get the other 2000. I mean, are you, I mean, is it really that big of a difference? <laughs> I mean, I can. If you sub and tell me to do that, I will do that. But as it stands right now, I'm just gonna run around with my Suboptimal super jump. How do I enjoy short hops being taller than the full hops? It's only annoying for, uh, like, this is a, here, here's the thing is like, I uh, don't take this person or anything, but it, it is like annoying in a way. I think that's kind of what you're getting at, like, with spring chests and stuff. Like, it's really hard to do them correctly, <laughs> even with the short hop. Um, but it reminded me a lot of like the 200% playthrough because um, that was also like annoying, annoyingly fun. It's like too much of a good thing. But yeah, it's like it's like borderline annoying sometimes to not be able to jump shortly. Uh, where am I going? I don't even know where to go here. I have not. I have yet to access an interesting area here. I don't know if I can get on these mountains or anything. Okay, hold on. Okay. If 
Fuck. Where am I going? Save me, fairies. Yeah, DZ made this mod. Oh, you nerfed the jump? So I'm playing like the juiciest jump version right now. Yo, Neon, thank you for the five gifts, you fucking legend. Dude, can I get a fucking chugger in the chat? Spinning Spyro even? You wanna see Jock? Alright, we're going to Jock. Thank you for the grats. Yeah, get me out of this fucking level. This level sucks. So, yeah, we're gonna head to Jock. Jock Quis. Jock Okizi. Dream weebs. Yeah, Doc Van, I think that was the coolest part about it as well. I actually agree with that. The coolest part of this mod was like trying to kind of solve the puzzle for how you can like get through artisans and peacekeepers and and all of that. Going jock. We make a material girl. No, you're my material girl. Make a Pearl homeworld. Oh, you guys are still expanding on the idea. I, I can see why you would nerf like some aspects of it. So like make it more of a challenge, like because after the initial like couple of homeworlds, basically for me what it was is like with this V2 version is it was challenging until beast make like i basically had to barely scrap anything i could get together until beast makers and then it was just like okay now i can 100 percent every level it just like kind of goes from like it, it went from 100 to zero in terms of difficulty which makes sense uh, but yeah I, I could see where you where you where your uh, head's at in terms of not having to go from like 100 to zero like that so it's like a more consistent challenge throughout the run I see the thought process. Okay, so we're gonna try to get on the mountains. Is that, is that what I? Is that what I heard? I'm gonna try to get towards the um, the vortex here. Oh, let me uh, just blame this guy so it like puts all the platforms down and shit. Or actually, do I want the platforms to go down? It doesn't even matter. Go over here, or no? I don't think I can do that yet. Hold on, just go over here. So a lot of these mountains, I think, are are intangible. Let me get up on the vortex platform and see if I can just like glide onto any of them. I'll start with uh, I guess I'll start with some of these. Okay. No, those mountains are solid, but I wonder if there's any part you can stand on. Is what I'm wondering. What about this, but backwards? Yeah, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like to really make it a challenge, um, I feel like the, the next step in this is to like, it, and you know, this is like the next step in modding, by the way. Like, so totally understandable. Um, would be to like uh, change the gem layout as it gets further into the game. So it's like the same, the same like levels, but you just like change where the gems are and stuff. I don't know if any of the modding tools allow you to change where the gems are. I don't, I don't know if any of them allow you to do that. But there's been a lot of interesting mod ideas that are like based around, okay, changing the colors of gems and moving gems and doing that. That would be, I think that's the next step in terms of like maintaining the difficulty in a challenge like this. Oh, I'm okay. So that is a thing, DZ. That is a thing. You guys are so. By the way, can I just say you guys are so cryptic in the way you guys talk about it? You guys know that. You fucking modding bitches. <laughs> All right, you guys are like, oh yeah, we have something in the works. Uh, but yeah, you know, mm, I don't, I don't want to say anything. It's a fucking. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'm not, I'm not gonna rush you guys. You guys are a bunch of bitches, though. You know that. <laughs> it's funny you should mention that. No, but that's cool though. I mean, based on that message, I can only assume that, uh... That, uh... There is going to be gem movement. Moving. 
moving around of gems because that, that's what i'm imagining is gonna as someone who has no idea what's actually happening in the mod scene of this game that's only just taking shitty guesses while the actual modders are like well it's funny you should mention that uh, as, so my continuing my shitty line of thought is that the next few mods we're gonna see are gonna be like they're gonna move around the gems and stuff a little bit and there'll be some challenges around that like oh every gem is red now you know and so now there's a million more red gems in the game or like or like, you know, this jumping challenge, but we like moved all the gems later in the game, you know? So it's like more of a challenge to get there. Um, and then once that comes, once the mods like that come out, then the next step after that is going to be custom levels. Then the actual full like thing will happen of like custom levels with like custom like fucking shit. You know, and then at that point it's custom levels, but using assets from in game. And then after that, it's gonna be custom levels with custom assets. And so that's what I'm imagining is like the pr the logical progression of modding in this game. But I have, no like I said, I have no idea. I'm just out here just fucking guessing basically because I don't like keep up with any of these. I don't even know what the tools are that they're using. Apparently there's like a tool now that people can use. I don't even know. So I'm just an ignorant bitch. And I, I'm kind of left to like the little clues, the little breadcrumbs that each of these modders give me. That's why I'm, that's why I'm like, you fucking bitches. That's why I'm calling them fucking bitches because they're just leaving breadcrumbs. They're like, oh, all right. Yeah, we might be working on something like that. You know, it's like, all right, whatever. You want to be a secretive little cocksucker? All right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right, uh, I'm still going to play it either way. <laughs> that's fine. All right, get me out of here. You can't get on those mountains. There's nothing you can do about that. That's a good roadmap. Yeah, that's what I think. I mean, that's a, it makes sense to me. I mean, but I don't know. Well, let's go to loot. Now, I'm sure there's going to be a million different things like in between all of those things I said, but like, like someone was saying like a portal randomizer, like something like that, like the portal takes you to a random level. <clears throat> But just in general terms, the amount of effort, like each of those steps that I said earlier where, you know, it's like we're talking about just changing memory values in the game is like what I'm playing right now. It's like you, you adjust, you make like a scaling memory value similar to like a thing that like a script in BizHawk or something like that's like the that's the first layer. And then the next layer is like changing like the gems, changing like jet, like uh, moving around assets in game. And then making custom assets like the, each of those like requires like different levels of like uh, I guess of effort and time and whatnot. So I, I'm that's just but that's just like my guess. I don't fucking know. Like I said, I don't know that that's actually going to be the case or not. I just hope that something along any any of those lines like happens. All right, we're in loot. I was able to raise the height cap. It's pretty cool. Cause my jump goes really high, so that's, that's kind of dope. Yeah, like a portal randomizer and the first person to exit loot like wins. <laughs> you know, like that's, damn this fucking jump is tight. But yeah, I, I love it, man. I mean, I'm I'm loving all these uh, fucking all these mods. They're tight. Yeah, I believe that, DZ. I believe that for sure. Yeah, I need honestly because it's like such a thing now. I need to get back into that mod the dragon Discord. I was in it for a while. I might still be in it, but I just have the just haven't been looking at it. <laughs> just go up here. Hold on, you can flame him from behind, right? Yeah, you flame him from behind and then you act activate the key. Then he'll die automatically. <laughs> Just do everything out of order this time. Oh, it does lower the height gap gradually. Oh, I would love a mod. Dude, I'm telling you guys, like, the fucking best place to look for inspiration for Spyro mods is from the Mario 64 ROM hacking community. One of my favorite Mario 64 ROM hacks 
is is Mario 64, but there's lava everywhere. And this would be the perfect game for that, is to like, you know, this whole grassy area is just all lava, basically. And you still have to grab the gems like off the lava and stuff. You have to like fucking death abuse all the time, you know, and do crazy shit like that. That's another good mod idea. Did I get the key? Yeah, that bitch just died instantly because I flamed him from behind. Yeah, like that's honestly Angelo, that's what I'm saying. Like that's like the fucking That's the inspiration, I think. Is like Mario 64 ROM hacking, that's where I would love Spyro to even resemble that in any way one day. I think it would be so cool. Not just for me, like it would definitely be cool for me as a creator. No no doubt about that. It, it would give a lot more content for me to to, to farm basically, but it's the as just like a spiritual successor, you know? Like, fuck Spyro 4. We're talking like, let's fucking put lava everywhere in this game. Like, that's that's where my head's at. That's the real Spyro 4. Hold on, did I uh, glide? Oh, whatever, it's fine. have a fucking Spyro 3 like skateboard uh, track a super bonus round custom track like oh, that shit would be so lit diddles in the chat oh my god the fucking lag <laughs> are you seeing this the game does not want me to complete it <laughs> game's like don't do it At everything. 1870, I'm still missing some shit. Where could it be? Yeah, down here somewhere? These? Oh, these. On the flyby. Uh. Right, that's everything. Now you can actually get on top of this dome. I'm not gonna do it now because I made an entire video showing you how to do this in the normal game. If you haven't seen it, check out my, if you're watching on YouTube, check out my recommended. It should, might be somewhere there or my recent videos. I made that video a couple weeks ago. But for now, oh damn, I'm still down like a few gems, hold up. Thought I was done there. You ain't done yet. <laughs> Where are the fucking gems, dude? But I got them all. My stone. Oh, there they are. Please tell me that's everything. Okay, yeah. So guys, that's it. That is Spyro, but he is fucking super fucking heavy and jump and all that. Thank you for watching. That was a fun, that was a really fun uh, little playthrough. Two parts, all slapped together in this be beautiful YouTube video. Once again, if you're watching on YouTube right now, post a cute comment down below. If you made it to the end, post a letter. Uh, post a letter. Fucking uh, X for for extreme Spyro gameplay, which is what this was. I, I think the level I had the most fun doing the super jump in was uh, was Alpine. It was Alpine Ridge, yeah. And of course, uh, shout outs to Aldizi, who's in my chat right now. I'll be posting a link to uh, to uh, where you can download this in the description down below. But yeah, guys, that was chill. That was fun. Um, we were definitely doing a lot of uh, a lot of uh, dreaming and theory crafting for future mods. So stay tuned for them. I'm excited to see what the future. This is, guys. Let me tell you, we're just barely scratching the surface. We're barely scratching the surface of Spyro modding here, all right? I mean, look at this. This is the normal game, basically. Just like, all right, we just turned up a few values, you know? But fucking, I'll, I'll wait till it's like a fucking a fever dream nightmare of like custom levels and supercharged and fucking skateboarding and everything. That's 
portal randomizer and send you to the fucking nether realm. You know, you gotta like get out by doing the craziest damage abuse you've ever seen. That's where, that's where this shit is going, my friends. And so that's what I'm saying, like, that's what I'm getting excited for. But in the meantime, that shit all takes time. So in the meantime, I'm very happy to be playing something at least a little different from the original game. And that's what this was. Once again, Spyro, but he's heavy as fuck. And he gets uh, lighter and super jumpier as uh, he collects more gems. Cool mod by Aldizi. Uh, also, be sure to check out 200% uh, speed mod by uh, Husbjorn. And uh, what's the other one that I did? did, I, did I, I did another one at some point. Oh yeah, there's like Sparks lists out there already. Um, yeah. And there's more to come. I think. From what I understand, there's more to come. <laughs> I need to check that fucking modding discord. Oh. I bet you, I bet you I'm gonna go into this modding discord. They're gonna be like, they're gonna be like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna look in there and they're gonna be like, oh, check out this thing I'm working on. And then spoiler text, like, the, like a video. And then you click on the spoiler text and it's like, there's more to come. <laughs> it's like, hold up. Wait, it's coming. <laughs> I'm gonna go into this discord and like, oh guys, check it out. Uh. Yeah, it'll come. It's coming, it's coming. So the whole Discord is just them being like, yeah, we're working on something, but I don't know what. But I'll let you know when I'm done. <laughs> I'm just joking around, guys. So to all the modders out there, real real thank you if to any of you watching this. I know Outro and, and HWD are big, big, uh, have been big proponents and uh, modders of this game in recent times. I'm, I know they're working on some bigger projects, which I don't know what they are. They're, they have, they're you know, there's more to come. <laughs> so, on that note, Chuggers in the chat. YouTube, I will catch you guys next time. And stay cute, guys. Chuggers. Damn.